All right. Hi. Hi. Welcome back, or new to the Naughty Nitwits. Yes. Episode 50? 49. Oh, I got 50. You do? Yeah, I have 50. Oh. I had 49 last time, June 11th. I don't know. Okay, we don't know. 49, 50. Mm -hmm. Um, Doesn't matter. Yeah. We're a little exhausted today. You think that's the reason we don't know? No, I don't know why. (laughs) I don't know why. So I am back alley medicator. And I am Hermione Slay Her. Those are our new names. As you can mm-hmm. see, we're, uh, we got some swag last night yes, at the did. Rose City Rollers yes. hangar. Yes, that's right. In when, the 90 degree weather. Was that what it was? It yesterday? was, it, at least. It <sighs> was, it was hot. It was hell. It was. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> All right. Okay. We went and saw Roller Derby. Yay. And we're Rose converts. Roll- yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. Oh, well, you got okay. your pen? Ba- oh, it's yes. on our shirts. My pen's okay, somewhere. Okay, the back of my shirt. See it? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, I see it. Yes, okay. they don't see yeah, it. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I have my pin somewhere. I think it's in my purse. You didn't already put it on your bag? No, I need to. It was a little busy, you know. <laughs> I was tired. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we both of us wanted to bail. We, before yeah. we went, of course, because we made the plans and then we didn't want to go. Because right. that's how we are. <laughs> The only reason mm-hmm. I went uh-huh. was because I encouraged. That's right. I planned. You instigated. Thing. The I, inst- whole thing. I instigated you did, the whole you did, thing. You did. And so then Libby was going. My sister. Yeah. And Emily and her daughter. Mm-hmm. And so I really couldn't bail mm-hmm. on them completely. But sure. and we, my sister was excited, and Emmeline was excited. I was excited so, when I thought of it. Yeah. When yeah, I bought the yeah. tickets, I was really totally, excited. Totally. And then yeah, it was so hot, I and I I was just thinking it's going to be so miserable. And we had no idea how the games played. We so knew nothing about it. We knew nothing. But now we are pros. We are pros. We you can tell anything you need to know about Just roller ask. derby. Yeah, ask us. <laughs> do the little hip thing. That's <laughs> they do some hip thing. <laughs> some hip. Yeah, I mean they. Do I that think that thing. means that's the end yes, of the. Yes, what's exa- it called? The, the end jam. of the jam. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So yes. okay, and now there's um, they have a group that we could join. Yeah. I'm not saying we should. Okay. All right. Right now. Okay. But they have a group we could join as For over forty. Maybe I don't know about the age <laughs> thing. Um but yeah. the uh non competitive okay. just for the exercise and the camaraderie. Just to go around the ring. No, you still have to <laughs> okay. you know okay. yeah stick so your, stick your rear ends out and you know block. Uh, so. I don't even care about my rear ends. It's okay. all that inside you yeah. know like getting all into people's yeah. space yeah. and stuff and sweat. more importantly people getting into my space and swapping sweat totally. Michelle and I were like oh my gosh I don't know if I could go up and rub up against no. people that are sweating like that I don't know that would be and one of the things they do be like after the game mm-hmm. after the jam or I don't know the, not just the jam because that's on, you gotta act like we know what we're saying oh right okay, I yes, forgot because we're the pros that's right at the end of the bout <laughs> The team goes around and all the people go up and like do the high five yeah, things, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, I ain't touching any of those no. people. <laughs> Not that I don't love them dearly and respect them. They are badass. I love <laughs> right. them. But yes. they have been like yeah. all on each other yeah. and I'm just yeah. not into that. Yeah. So we're going <laughs> to so. actually play? Well, I think we should start with going skating. <laughs> okay. And just, just see skating. how that goes. And bang into each other a couple times and see what I, we I suspect that would happen regardless. Okay. <laughs> yes, uh, right. So... Um, it was fun, though. It was. It was. I totally did not expect to enjoy it, I, but I, I know. did. We went totally joking about how we were going to become season ticket holders right. and stuff. And I would totally become a I se- think I would, too. Yeah. yeah, the first game was London versus L.A. Yep. And then the second one was our Rose City Rollers against Texas. Yep. So it was... Oh, and how much later exciting. did you stay? I have to admit, yes. I did bail at halftime of the last... The between City the Rollers and Texas. Because it had it was so hot in there, mm. and my head had started really hurting mm. in the first game. Yeah. By the second game, they opened one of the hangar doors. Yeah. And and it, I think that it did the. Yes, it, it cooled got off better. A bit. But mm. by then, I it was too late. I'd already <laughs> had yeah. the headache, and I drank a ton of stuff, and I knew I was gonna. I already had to pee, but. Yeah. You don't have a lot of lead time. At, well, and I was going to say you don't have a lot of options for peeing. No, it's, and that was it. I wasn't going to go there. Yeah. yeah. That, so yeah. I knew I needed to make it back to Gladstone. Yes. <laughs> so yes. Make it back home. So I, so how, lo- how much longer? We stayed just a little bit longer, okay. not much longer. Yeah. So we don't know who won. I think Rose City Rollers probably won. They were way ahead. But then they, you score so many points each. each That's one what thing. What is it called again? A each jam. jam that mm-hmm. it's like, who knows? But I think Rose City Rollers were rocking it. So they, I think were, they were very aggressive. Very I liked that. Yes. 
I wish the second game would have been the first game totally. because it was really good yeah. and it was our team. So, and I think that that was uh, scheduled that way on well, purpose. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. It's almost like when you go to a drive-in, they keep or, the second. They always play two movies, oh. and the second one is the one that you're like, yeah, and like sorry, the like the concerts. Totally. You know? Yeah. The, 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 what the was always the opening band? Yeah. You know. Yeah. But, but it was good. They were very it was good. good. Yeah. It was it was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. When we were watching them warm up, though, because we were like right front row, mm-hmm. you know, so we could totally be part of it. And, yeah, we had uh, very good seats, perfect seats. Yeah, we had great the seats. The best seats. But what the first time one of the gals went down in front of us, I mean, it was like you had to physically stop yourself from going out and trying okay? to help them. You, I know. I was like, oh, honey. You know, cause <laughs> I told Michelle, I felt like I couldn't make eye contact with them. Because as a mother, you're like, I want to go out and help her out, yeah. but I can't. So, yeah. But yet I feel weird looking at her without helping. Or Oh, I kept looking. So, <laughs> it's like, it's just, you make sure to help her. Yeah, it's just a weird feeling, you know? It, it was kind of weird. Because you're like right there. Yeah. But then I felt like we should be in helmets in gear because I was worried. I was like, what if they come around like smash into us? Yeah, something? that's why we put our knitting away. Because I wanted my hands yeah. to be able to <laughs> protect Didn't myself. Didn't needles out or anything. No. You know, we could hey, if they got injury. hurt from my needles, that's just the cost of doing business. I didn't want another injury <laughs> to right. either of my knitting hands. That's true. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. So I told Michelle, I feel like I have a hangover today. But I had one beer. So oh, that's, that's right, not, you did. But I do. I feel like my voice is scratchy. <laughs> oh my, gosh. my nose has been like running. So my you eyes could have are gone puffy. with lightweight Leslie. I yeah, right. We could. Yeah, we yeah we had fun choosing our names. Yeah. Today. Yes, and that brings to mind it's very fun. that we have a giveaway oh, for you guys. We do. In uh, honor, of, roller in honor of the Rose City Rollers. Yes. There's a pattern called the Rose City Rollers mm-hmm. socks. Socks. And very cute. Very cute. Either yeah. one of us have knit them, and we should. No, I have. Oh, have I? I think I have too. Yeah, it's the jelly rolls that we the haven't jelly done rolls yet. We have Rose City Rollers, we have. We yes. have. Yes. yes. And the team colors, we bought mm-hmm. our shirts, of course. Purple. And, um, mm-hmm. it, which, yeah, it's purple, so. Yes. <laughs> um, not the best as far as, I mean, purple's good. We, we've Carrie, come, Carrie would love it. Totally. Carrie would love it, yes. So I have a skein of a uh, mm-hmm. very eggplant color. It's not exactly the, but you know what? It's yeah, as good it's as a shade. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's a shade. Uh, it's Cascade Sock Yarn. There's a lot of it here. It seems yes. like you could make 10 pairs of socks. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, you could do a ton Lots of, of Rose City uh, Rollers. Rose City Rollers. Yes. Sure. So that and a skein of the <laughs> my little meat. <laughs> That's my German. Sound really angry. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> and I'm sure I said that just right. I'm sure you did my perfectly. Pronunciation Your German could is not perfect. be better. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I, I don't either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it kind of goes. It does. I mean, it totally no, goes. it totally it's goes. Kind of yeah, this you could do like a match yeah. made in, oh. in in roller derby in ro- heaven. Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. So. The way you're going to enter, so you're going to get the pattern. Yes. And the city rollers pattern, sock pattern. You're going to enter in our thread. Mm. We want to know what your roller derby name would be. And you can do lots of different on online. Yeah, sites. there are name generators. Name <laughs> generators. That's what we did. Yes. But you can just make one up. You can do whatever. If so. you are good at making stuff mm-hmm. up like that, yeah, we're not. That would be the best. Yes. But yes. yeah, we're not good at we're that. Um, mm-hmm. And both of us tried out a couple different mm-hmm. other sites. Mm-hmm. And when you don't have to take your first pick. Right. It's this is not a like a it's not a. Uh, those things that you answer a bunch of right. questions and Which then at first, t- yeah, yeah, it pops up. Yeah, you yeah. can pick whatever you, you can want. do whatever. So it took me a few to get yes. the one. Uh, actually, this was my third one, and as soon mm. as I saw it, I was like, Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. it's totally you. Back alley, medicate her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so, perfect. Um, so yeah, that'll be that'll fun. Be so fun. next episode, mm-hmm. we, we want to know what your roller derby name is. We certainly do. There was lots of cool ones last night. It was fun. Oh my gosh, they're awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was great. That was a lot of fun. But it did make me feel better that, like, when you Google that, there's all these entries. How do I pick my roller derby? It's mm-hmm. obviously not the easiest thing to do. No, it's not. And one of the things I said, like, if you were playing, is you don't want to go with something too trendy because trends change. Yes. You know, it's like it's kind of like your Instagram name. You're gonna be stuck with it. Totally. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Better like known that by name. it too, really. Yes. I mean, people know you by that. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. It's, it's very important. So that's that. Yes. Mm-hmm. And just speaking of giveaways, mm-hmm. um, our Ho He starting point mm-hmm. knit along that we had going. Mm-hmm. Get your pictures in. We're gonna draw a winner next episode because we have those two bags by bags by Awesome Granny. Yes. And they're both the large, mm-hmm. the large, cute chicken bag. So cute. Uh, you don't have to have it completed, is okay. my opinion. Yeah. It was just a knit along. It's not like you have to have it done. Right. 
so if you have not posted anything yet, but you've been doing it, get get it on there so we know that you want to be part of this. Yes. And then, yeah, we'll draw winners next episode. That would be good. That would be fun. All right. Mm -hmm. What else we have going on? I don't know. Okay, well, then I'll talk about yeah, you talk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, something new and different. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle, why don't you talk Go for ahead, a while? Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. So much to say. The podcast survey. If you guys mm -hmm. saw, I put an Instagram photo out, and um, you may have already seen it, but mm -hmm. this fellow, David Gregg, contacted us a while ago, and some other podcasters. Mm -hmm. He's doing a research thing. You can read all about it mm -hmm. on any number of different podcasts. Right. Ours would be the one that I would say go read, because mm -hmm. that's the one I know for sure it's there. Mm -hmm. I went and took the survey just to see what it was. Yeah. Not about ourselves. You know, you get to list your podcasts um your i think he asks for like your top three mm. and then you answer the questions basically based in reference to those okay so i didn't answer it like in reference to ourselves <laughs> Why? that would a seem bias? that would seem a little narcissistic <laughs> to me i don't know so i did it That's about someone funny. else but okay. anyhow um <laughs> I want you guys to know that I vetted him before mm -hmm. giving him permission to do this. He gave us a lot of time. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't like, I want to do this now. Yeah. He gave us plenty of time to investigate and feel comfortable and he, right. while well, he got his ducks in a row. But if you do it or don't do it, we don't care. We get nothing yeah. from it. Yeah. You and I didn't enter. When you get done with the survey, you can follow a link to get entered in for a $50 or a $25 Etsy gift card. Mm. I didn't do that because that would be wrong. Mm. <laughs> but... Um, so that's the only thing I can't say that I've right. gone through the steps with. But, I yeah. mean, I totally feel comfortable with it. Yeah, it wasn't anything, like, personal. Or right. No, yeah, not at all. No you don't even give... You don't give... I think when you enter... If you were to enter for the sweeps, the giveaway, you'd right. have to enter. But personal information. Right. But, yeah. yeah, nothing too personal. Not like social security number. Or nothing, no, no, nothing, no, no, no. Nothing like Who that. Who you dream so. about at night. I mean, I don't <laughs> think that he wants to know too much. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. Yes. All right. So that's mm. that's that. Anything? What else you got going on over there? <laughs> you have you contributed well, I mean, nothing so far because I keep start, talking. Do we want to start with like weaving in the ends? Do we want yeah. to start with well, what's you know? I was just bag? making sure there's nothing else okay. like that kind of stuff. Well, I mean, should know? I talk about this or At, that would f oh and the, should I yes, do that? totally that that falls into the people call it different things. Okay, you know, like they're taking care of business. Right, well, so that's way right. too like a structure for us. Stuff. Yes, yeah. Yes. This is just our shit that we're thinking of. That's right. right now that we think <laughs> you guys should know. So I went yes. into Starlight Knitting, which is a local yarn shop to us, mm -hmm. and I was talking to one of the lovely ladies there, um, and she was telling me, we were just talking about different patterns and what we've been knitting lately and all that kind of stuff, and we got on the subject of Andrea Mowry, and she was talking about how Andrea Mowry is coming to their shop, Starlight Knitting, in, oh boy, what were the day? oh, Dece November, December, December 9th and 10th, um, and she's going to offer different classes there. I think the classes are like four hours long. And she's offering a beginner brioche with Andrea Mowry, color confidence, and a vintage prim workshop with Andrea Mowry. That one is on Sunday, December 10th. The other two are on December 9th. Um, the classes cost, so I check out the site. Yeah. We're just going to go a ahead lot, and throw yeah. it out there. Yeah, they're a lot. But I mean, you're saying. If you have it, totally. And you, and if you, I mean, like, if there was something there that you've. If there was something there that I felt like I would really benefit from right. taking it, totally. totally. I, I felt like we that. both brioched, we both, we have carry for color confidence. <laughs> so I, we, they're not classes that I feel like I need to take. I would literally be sitting there just gawking at Andrew Mowry. And then so that would be a little uncomfortable. I'd be probably embarrassed would, for I, you I know. a little bit. <laughs> 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 I'd be like not listening to it. She says, just, oh, what, what are you saying? And then you'd be asking me. I know. Because I'd be paying attention. Exactly. Like last night at the at the roller derby. Oh I paid attention when the gal was explaining the stuff. Well, it was, yeah. And you weren't. I and know, then but then I read up on it. Because I, I gave you the Yes, which read. is good. I didn't know that the directions were there. That was the awesome. Directions. <laughs> the directions. <laughs> this is how you watch <laughs> this roller derby. This is how you play. <laughs> Once I understood it, then it was like, oh, this is way more interesting. Yeah. Um, but there is going to be a meet and greet Friday, December 9th. Um, I don't have a time here what time that'll be. But 
you know, that to me would be awesome to go to. I would love to meet Andrew Mowry at least. Yeah, so we'll have to do that. Like that. So we would love to do that. Yeah. But if you guys are interested in the classes, if meeting you're Andrew Mowry, local. and you're yeah. somewhat local. You want to fly out from Texas? Hey, they did it for roller derby. That's right. Come that's on right. over from or in England. London. They came. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can Where are your here. priorities? That's right. That's right. If you want to meet Andrea Mowry and sit under her for a four hour class, uh, sit under her. Well, I mean, you're going to listen to her. I don't know. You're not going to sit. Un I, you know what I'm saying. I was visualizing this. <laughs> oh I sound a little kinky now. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to sit under someone, they're going to pay me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> no, no, so yeah, anyway, yeah. yeah. So anyway, uh, meanwhile, we back just we just love Andrew Bowery. We love the patterns. Yeah. So it would be cool to meet her. Yes, and it to would. the fact that she's coming here to a local yard to shop, Portland. That's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. So anyway, we just wanted to get it out there. Uh, I think you can sign up now for classes oh. on Starlight Knitting's website. So cool. um, I'm sure they're going to fill up fast. I can't remember how many. I think she said there was ten spots for each yes, class. Yes, that's what you said to me. So um, I could be completely wrong, but that's what I'm thinking it is. So so you guys need to sign up ASAP if you want to get in those because I think they'll probably fill up, fill up pretty fast. I think they will too. Yeah. So I if do. you're local, December 9th and 10th. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't want to wait that long to go to Starlight Knitting, yes, it's not exactly. as impressive. I know. You know, know, because we're not teaching any classes. But well, we're you, not as cute as Andrew Mowry. If you want, to, no, but there's two of us. There is so two of us. So we only have to be half as cute. That's true. Because That's true. you know. That's true. Exactly. Uh, That's true. And we could, we could do this for a little bit less money. We could. We don't have to charge them 120 <laughs> right. to see each of us. That's right. Because that'd be $240 right. for you. Maybe 60 bucks each. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. keep it fair. <laughs> keep it doable. That's right. <laughs> do you remember that date? Um, it's no. July something. Oh, July 15th. I'm yes. thinking it's the 15th. Okay. Yes, at 11 o'clock. We are yes. going to Starlight Knitting. Yes. And Janine from... Yarn and you, yarn and you, yarn and you, girl. Yes, I'm pretty sure. I think that's it. Yes, yarn and Janine you, girl. Party. Um, she has her own podcast as well, which mm -hmm. we love her. And <laughs> she's going to come down, and Carrie from the Creative, Creative Obsession is going to come on out. I'm sure Angelique from the Black Sheep, yarn. and hopefully maybe Lori will come down. Lori I'm that sure. does nothing. Lori that does nothing will yeah. come down. And so I, I post a picture of it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. There we do have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We don't do a ton with it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, but I'm just I'm bad at it. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I just mm -hmm. uh, Instagram's our jam. It is. Our it's jam. so much easier. See, we're using roller derby terms. Now, okay. So when people have said, like Melissa from uh, Naughty by, by Nature, our naughty girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She made the pins. Knitting is my jam. Yes. You know the whole jam thing. Yes. Does that originate from roller, roller derby? derby? I don't know. Because I didn't know why people kept saying it's my jam. I don't either. I don't know. I just went with and then it. there's that song, Pump Up the Jam. There is? Yeah. I haven't heard that. It's, a rap. it's like a rap. It's oh. like an old, like, you don't remember that, 90s? Pump Up the Pump Jam. Pump Up the Jam. Pump it up. You don't know. Oh, that. I bet if I one? heard it, I'd recognize if you heard it. it. Yeah, I'm not going to try and <laughs> sing it. <laughs> but, but that yes. was fun while you did. Thanks, dead. thanks. I almost got it. Too. Yeah, you like, almost got it. I yeah. almost started <laughs> pumping up some jam. <laughs> My jam was pumping. <laughs> but Or did they get it from jam as in jelly and jam? I don't you know? know. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. It's, who knows where it originated because or who we, thought of it first. We have not yet obtained the level mm -hmm. of knowledge. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, We're in process. We're in process. We are a work in progress. Yes, we, yes. Are. we are whips. <laughs> we are. <laughs> That's right. So anyway, if you guys want to join us yeah, for that day at 11 mm -hmm. o'clock at... Um, Starlight Knitting. Starlight We're Knitting. We're going to be knitting, and we'll probably bring some treats, and we kind of <laughs> have the place to ourselves, I think. Well, no. No. Actually. Okay. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> we don't at all. Okay. <laughs> There's going to be a trunk show there that day. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I know. I don't remember who. Okay. And then also, someone, I think, is going to be presenting tips on on knitting a shawl or something. Oh, okay. So, okay, here's what happened. Mm -hmm. I sent a message to Starlight Knitting mm -hmm. on Instagram, yes. I think asking you know just saying that we were looking at this date mm -hmm. and we were going to open it up to people would that be an okay day to do mm -hmm. it you know i want to make sure they didn't have classes going right, or anything. right and so i get a message back saying oh that's great you know bl you know fabulous whatever so i i said well so <coughs> is the date open is that all good and i didn't hear back so i thought well that was affirmation yes. I mean, you know so i went ahead and created the event well then hillary mm -hmm. So I don't know who it was that originally saw my Melissa message or Hillary, answered. Yeah, one of them. Um, or just some random person. Yeah. You know, some person that was there on right. their computer looking at Ravelry patterns. And then <laughs> right. this thing popped up and they thought. They answered. Sure. I don't think that's true, though, because okay. I can't access my Instagram messages on my laptop. 
Oh, okay. I can only get them on my phone. Okay. So I don't know. But anyway. Okay. They could have been on a phone, though. They could have been. Whatever. It's a conspiracy. It could be the FBI. It's a total conspiracy. (laughs) We're being set up for something. (laughs) Uh, So anyway. Anyway. Back to the story. Hillary told me, yay, you know, we're glad you're coming, but we do do have a trunk show and this other thing going on. So Mm -hmm. hopefully that's all going to work out. It's kind of a small shop. It's kind of a small shop, yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. I mean, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be close. That's and right. We could, there might be, maybe we should bring a chair and sit outside. Well, I was trying to think, do they have little tables and chairs? No, I think they there's should. like one. They should. I think I've seen I one little, did. hey, you guys, get on that. Mm-hmm. You have until July 15th. I know, because I could picture myself buying some yarn, going outside and sitting and knitting. And yeah. Yeah. And they have tea there, so you could have a cup of tea. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, so come, but yeah. you might be standing room only. I doubt it. Well, I mean, not, I was going to say, not for people coming to knit with us, but because of the trunk, the trunk show. show. Oh, yeah, whatever it draws. If it draws a lot of people for yeah. the trunk show, it's going to be, even just with, if just us show up, it's going to be pretty packed. Us? No, <laughs> you're going to fill up the room. No, you, you and I and Carrie and <laughs> oh, Janine gotcha, okay. and Angelique and Lori. Oh, right. Like, just oh, with yeah. us alone, yeah, there's that's no true. more seating than Okay, that. never mind. So. Don't come. <laughs> Please come. Wait. If you want to come, we'd love to meet you. Yeah, totally. And it would be fun. I don't know what the trunk show is, but I'm sure it's good. Yeah. I don't know. know. Well, it's probably local. I would think. I would think. Yeah, I don't know. So, but, yeah, yeah so right. hopefully we'll see you guys there. Yeah, That'd maybe. Be fun. <laughs> we have so no July 15th, 11 o'clock, Starlight Knitting. Yeah, or go to our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That way, if there's All any the updates, again. they'll That's be... That's right. Yeah. Yeah, but that'll be fun. Okay. Awesome. All right. Shall All we right. move on to whips? <gasps> sure. This is what you told me about. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love that. So should we show that? Go or? for it, because I love okay, it. Okay, so works in progress. I started a new crochet blanket. And... Uh, Tell them your criteria. Okay, so my criteria, which now my newest color isn't going to match that. But I think it has It totally pink. does. Okay. So yeah. I told Michelle, all this, the yarn I use has to have pink in it. it or... Not, didn't you say or pink like or a peach, peach? Like a peach, yeah. like a corally. But it has to... Yeah. So even if it's just a tiny tiny bit so obviously you get a ton of other colors in i there totally as well. love this one what is that me one? too what? i don't, you don't know, know. that's what's killing me i think it might be um okay and oh my gosh, because you're not gonna remember so i yes. might as well move yes, on exactly this is on. the one that you did with your snow melted yes. right and i love yes. that i love it it's so funny how crochet i love certain yarns in crochet way better than i do in knitting Interesting. it's just funny how that works oh. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. I'll, I'll just move back. <laughs> so anyway, it's been fun. And I, it, at first I cast it on and I, or whatever, chained, whatever. And I thought it was going to be wide enough. And as I was crocheting it, I probably got, you know, maybe up to the peach color. Oh. And I was like, this is not as big as my other one that I did for Keeley. Yeah. So then I ripped it all out, of course. chained again, went into Keeley's room, got the, <laughs> the other crochet blanket and measured it because I wanted it to be... Like at least that ish. width because her width you know it covers me and then so, like yeah. I want it to be big enough that I can really wrap around me like Keely does with hers so anyway this is the same length I have no idea sorry my nose is running I have no idea how many chain or whatever oh. I did I didn't count I just do a whole bunch so <laughs> anyway yeah nice I, I really addicting. like how that's coming together and I told Michelle my goal is to have it done by September 1st my last one took from, uh, I started it in December and got it done in May. So I'm, and that was putting it down for a long time and then picking it up, yeah. you know. So I'm hoping if I start now that by September 1st when fall, I feel like fall starts September 1st, even though it fish officially starts like September 20th. And here in Oregon, at least in this part of Oregon, yes. it really starts well into October. Totally, the weather-wise. Yeah. 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 But I just figure with school starting in September, I look at that as fall, you know. Okay. So I just want to have it done so that I can cuddle up with it starting in September or whenever our weather cools off. Although my house is air conditioned, so I always feel like I'm a little chilly. But these minis that we got from our swap, you know, or all of our swaps, I think it's so awesome because when you're when you're knitting with them, you really get to test out the yarn. Yeah. Which, duh. I mean, everybody knows this, but and it also makes you go, oh my gosh, I want that skinny yarn. You know. I think that's part of the appeal Mitchell's, to the Mitchell's creations. Yeah. That's what it was. Oh, That's okay. What oh, then I bet I have it. So I was, yes, you have this. And I love this many too. I do too. So I was like, it made me want to go order their yarns. So. 
I well, think the minis are awesome. It's a great idea because it makes you want to. And those pinks, doing that was such a great idea. Yeah. Did you come up with that on your own? I did. Just wow. because my just because my last one didn't have any rhyme or reason. Our little Leslie came up with oh a, like a, a groundbreaking <laughs> idea really and groundbreaking. to be featured at Vogue Knitting. Yeah, something. right. <laughs> um, well, my last one I felt like it was very random, which was totally yeah. fine. I love it. But this one I was like, I just love pinks and the peaches, corally colors. Me too. They're colors. my favoritists. Yeah. And yeah. favoritists. Yeah. So I just thought... Yeah, why not? I mean, it'll limit me somewhat, but almost all my skeins have at least Oh my gosh, I, that would limit me in no. my stuff. Yeah. No, but you know what I mean? So yeah. I just figured it's not going to rule out a ton of different yarns. Oh, I love it. So it'll be fine. So that's been fun. I've been doing it, and my bag is full of beautiful, yeah, beautiful minis with pinks. Yeah, so, I mean, really, a lot of it will yeah. go just oh, because totally. of pink yeah you know so it's not like you're it's not like you're not going to get any other colors you're going to get a ton of other colors right but the pink will tie them all the together pink will tie it so all together so you can do that with blue or yes. with whatever you're thinking and is. then my border i think i'll probably find a skein of just pink some kind of a pink or peach and have that be my border uh -huh. just to kind of really tie it all so i mean it'll rule out some colors yeah you know that are solid yeah. but that's okay it's like it's there's still so many that I can do. That's so, great. I love that idea. And I have it, my beautiful one of a kind. Well, I don't know if it's one of a kind. Bags by Austin Green. I'm darling. Yep. So. I'm, I'm probably going to steal your idea at some point. What idea? That. Doing pinks? I'm or doing the pinks. Do? Yeah, I would do pinks because yeah. I love pinks. I just love pages. pink. Well, and pink, is, there's so many shades of it yep. that I feel like it's so versatile. You can go in those peachy colors, but then you can go into the fluorescent pinks. Oh, so that, yeah. You know, the neon, yeah, there's lots of options. Almost the mauve color. Yeah, pinks, the ones that I like so, the yeah. best. So it's perfect. What are you working on? Uh, well, I did I did pull out mine and I didn't do a ton, but Hurry. I did I did do some more of this. This is a blissful knits. I only That's have a little beautiful. bit left. Yeah. And uh, but mine is a lot longer yes. than yours. Yes, totally. Which that's wasn't awesome. it wasn't because I wanted it to be. No, I just didn't know what great. I was doing. No, but that's so. totally fine. The bigger the better, I yeah. think. I mean, so I almost abandoned this mm -hmm. because I just have not felt like working on it. Yeah, I have all these other things I want to do. But I love, like, I've loved seeing yours. Yeah. So I, I thought, well, I'll, I'll do a little bit more on it and just see how I feel about it. So I, I did some, and it made me like it yeah. again. Because, I, like I told you the other day, I think that if I could just get it a little bit bigger mm -hmm. than this, I'll start to feel a little better yeah. about it. But right now, I just feel like I'm knitting on this, or not knitting, but sure. crocheting yeah. on this, you know, this monstrous thing. thing that's not really turning into anything. But right. It will. Yes. Yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah. But, like... I mean, the other thing is that uh, I had been gifted this pattern, um, Free the Minis Wrap, oh, by yeah. Hannah and Rose. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. Yeah, by Very Amy cute. Meeks. And it's, I mean, it's... Very cute. There's nothing, like, mm -hmm. spectacular about it, right. except that you're using you're your using minis. minis yeah. And it's, you know, yeah. I mean, a blanket's awesome, too, mm -hmm. but... So I might do this mm -hmm. with the idea of finding a color yeah. to That'd draw awesome. them all together and then just keep this one for all the yeah. other. Um, well, and you have tons of minis. I it's have not, it's not so like, many minis. I mean, like it's so weird to me that I can do another blanket. And I used up a ton of my scraps with that other blanket. So I love it. I love that I'm using up my stuff. I feel like I'm not being wasteful. I'm... Everything is yeah. going into something. No, so it's I feel awesome. like you've got so much that you have no problem. Yeah. I don't have a problem with yes, having enough. No problem. And that I'm keeping in my, this Shoot. is my you so-and-so window bag. Very and it's an cute. Alice in Wonderland. I showed it off a while ago. but yeah, I don't this, remember it. Yeah, because this has been in timeout for so long. Oh, so what okay. else are you working on? I am. Okay, we'll pull those out. Yeah. Well, I'm just right. figuring we're on. Yeah, yeah no, kind of that's right. We, we are you talking know, we about We got to keep that. going, you know. So, I... I don't remember where I was at on my So Close shawl mm. when we did this last time. You didn't put a progress keeper on it? Well, here's the thing. Uh -huh. It has just recently occurred to me that that's why people use those. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just bling on your I totally knitting. thought, you know, I'm just I, like, okay, you just move it up as you go yeah. because it's pretty yeah. and you want to keep seeing it. Yes. So no, I'll start doing That's that. so funny. See, I use it on my crochet blanket just because that helps me to go, okay, wow, I did accomplish something. Because after a while, you feel like you're doing nothing. Yeah. And that helps me too each time I show it on the podcast to be like, all right, I did this much. Well, but that's, that's the only thing I've used it on. Okay. That's like what that. I was just thinking though. Yeah. Just like it just hit me the other day is if I had been using Progress Keepers yeah. to show progress. Yeah. 
You would yeah, know. Yeah, totally. Know. Yes. So I'll start doing that. Yes. But anyway, so here's my so close so that I'm working on. And are you so close to finishing? I'm not okay. so close <laughs> at all. I mean, I still have this much of the pearls and lace yes. plus another skein okay. that's going to go into it. Okay. That much of the imp. Okay. And that much of the. So no, yes, I'm nowhere near okay. being close to okay. being done. Still having fun? I just started working on it again okay. because I've been trying to get that test net done. Yes, yes. So, but yeah, I still love it. It's still awesome. That's and cool. Yeah. Have we gotten the okay to show the test? Net? Oh yeah, okay, yeah. She told finished. us we could okay. show it. Okay. And we're, I have we're, that. We're test netters now. Right. No. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Professional test netters. But not really. uh, there, it just takes you away from anything else mm -hmm. because. Mm -hmm. You know, you say that you're going to do that, you're committing to do yeah. it, and you don't want to be the one to hold things up. But we did finish. Yeah, yeah, time. yes. So we finished in plenty of time. So we're, we were good test knitters this time. First time ever we've been good test knitters. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, have you test knit much? Uh, I've said I would and then bagged out. Right, no, I did a cowl, I think, for Shannon Squire okay. a while back. Okay. No, and then I did a sock. It wasn't a it wasn't a pattern test knit. Right. It was just the yarn for Stacy. Sample. A sample. A sample mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, right. And so yeah. actually the other thing was just a sample too. So I guess, it, no, I guess I hadn't okay. done, okay. yeah. But no, I mean, I enjoyed it and everything, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. at the same time I felt a pressure to get it done as fast as I could. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't feel like I could work on other stuff. Right. Because right. I felt guilty. Yeah. Like, oh no, I should. Be. And I know that Janine didn't expect no, that from no. us. She That's gave just, us plenty of time to my finish personality it. Yeah. To no. And it, yeah. And I think you, you want to persevere through it because you want to as quickly as possible, be able to let the designer know, you know, yeah, the good and the bad. But she's an amazing desi a designer, and yeah, no, she w wrote a very nice, very pattern, good pattern, so. very clearly written and stuff. Yeah. So you guys have to look for that when it comes out, and yeah. we'll show you our finished ones in a bit. So that's that. Mm -hmm. What else you have? Well, I have a hoe. Oh, well, not even a hoe because there's no heel in it. So oh, this is my sock blank that I dyed up at Carrie's Creative <laughs> Obsession. It's really cute. So I um, still have to put the heel in after that heel. So I haven't even started the second one yet. I need to. I've just had, I don't know, I've been anti-sock lately and that's so weird for me. I've never, never in all in the years I've never it's felt It's because that I'm way. not knitting socks right now. Maybe. You're trying to go through this with me. That's what it is. Yeah. Totally. I'm suffering alongside you. You're suffering you. alongside me. That's what it is. Exactly. I'm such a nice friend. You're that good a friend. <laughs> You're sacrificing your sock for me. It's just weird. I've never felt that way before, but I'm like, I think it's just because I have so many other things that I'm really interested in knitting yeah. and wanting to cast on and wanting to get done that socks are just kind of like me. But I need to finish a whole nother one before the end of June. And you guys that are that are doing our knit along with us, stick with it. Totally. And <laughs> we're fail, don't we're be failures. like us. Yeah, don't be like us. I haven't done a stuff it last month or this month yet. I think I did one or two the first couple of months we did it. I think I did one or two. Yeah. <sighs> but you guys are awesome because mm -hmm. a lot of you are sticking with it. You're better than us. You are. <laughs> better than us. That's so. why we do this, just because we want to find a support group for um <laughs> how badly we i don't know i um, don't know what you'd call it but yeah and but it makes us feel worse about ourselves so is that good i don't feel that much worse about <laughs> myself <don't>, okay. <laughs> let's just say it's not keeping me up at night okay <laughs> so, so anyway then. this sock was i mean i love the yarn i i love my dye job um totally. you know but i just so it's nothing about that no. i just i feel like other things are just gripping my attention right. lately and so well and because we've knit a lot of socks in our life <laughs> oh, yeah. you know <laughs> not like that's some a, but well and that's the thing i feel like i don't have a need for socks i'm not desperate to fill my yeah. sock drawer it's overflowing with socks so i feel like yeah, I don't, I don't need another pair of socks in no. my life. But so. you, you guys stick with it because we have so many good prizes. Totally, so. totally. and we're not eligible for prizes. No. So obviously, maybe right, that's so. why. There's nothing in it. There you go us. again, <laughs> selfish knitter. <laughs> I'm not getting anything out of this, so no, it's fine. I can't help but eyeing that um, skein of yarn that you have in there, Which that one? white one yes, with the colors. Yes, I can't wait to yes, see that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have to wait. Apparently, wait I don't get any special privileges. For I thought I showed you it. That's funny. I must have showed have. somebody else. I don't, know. I don't know. When did you get it? Probably last week. Okay, then I haven't seen it. So, okay. Okay, so yes. I frogged. What? <laughs> Are you serious? What do you think I'm talking about? Your, uh, your Viajant. I did. Why? Because I want to do this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you will regret it. 
I have to say this. Oh my You're gosh. an idiot. <gasps> Oh my god, you guys are witness to this. She just called me an idiot. No, because I'm podcasting. <laughs> because I know the pattern you're compa- you're choosing over it, and to me the viajant is amazing. That is fine. <laughs> but the viajant is a cocoon. And it looked really good on you. It's your it's but your it's not magnum opus. On, it's not gonna look good on me. You don't think so? No. Why? <laughs> As discussed previously. I would look like an overstuffed sausage in the casing. If you make it too tight, but I feel like if you just have bigger gauge, you know what I mean, then it won't be so much like that. And it's so much knitted stuff to wear on your body. Like, when I was thinking about how far down it goes. I know. But you could listen. It's like that. a freaking sleeping it bag. It is. <laughs> and it's seriously, awesome. I love it on you. Yeah. I do. I okay. that's what made me want to admit know. it was how much I liked it on you. Yeah. But I just wasn't feeling it anymore. Okay. And so All I right. bought this pattern, uh tripartite tri- I don't even partite? Know. Tripartite. I don't oh, know. Yes, it's a that's Stephen, probably what it is. Stephen West thing. And it's a vest, mm-hmm. lace weight vest. Mm-hmm. And you know, you can't judge Stephen West's knits by what <laughs> Stephen pictures. West wears them as. That is true. That is you, true. You'd never knit any of his stuff. Well, or you would. Some would, mm-hmm. but um, like this picture here, he's got the wing spread going yes. and some of it in his mouth. Yeah. And he's taste testing the yarn. I don't do that. You don't. I do not. We sniff it. We feel I it. I don't ever bite my clothes. We rub it against our skin, but I don't think we've bit yarn. Not Again, yeah, I feel like we're you're talking out. in code or something. No, maybe we should bite the yarn. Maybe it tastes good. I, I don't have know. no aspirations to be like Steven. You don't? No. But we did. We tried with our exploration no, station. No, no. We I, thought we were I him. think we were on different mental scapes there because <laughs> I wanted to knit the pattern. Mm-hmm. And I did buy his color combo. Yeah, exactly. But I never felt like I was trying you to channel like Stephen West. Wasn't ch- I, I'll never have the looks down. I think we should. I think that would be funny. That takes me to another place that oh I'm not sure I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry you're disappointed that I ripped out my Viajant. I, I hadn't gotten very far. I get what you're saying, though. I mean, when you explain it, it's like, yes, I get it. And if I were to knit the Viajant again, I would probably do it at a looser gauge because... I do when it's on. I mean, you it is warm and it is snuggly and yeah. it is things I don't enjoy. I just if I looked at both patterns, to me, I'd be more drawn to the viajant than that. Yeah. That I would be like, mm, maybe I'll knit it. Maybe I don't know. See, and but the viajant, the viajant is like would be neat. Oh. But and then I was thinking, it's not something I'd wear to work. You know, yeah, it's something it's, you definitely have to be committed to wearing all day. Yeah. And it has to be something where you're just kind of lounging around the house. Right. It's a very drapey. And you'd have to know. be freezing to put it on, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's lighter weight because it's it nice is, weight. Yeah. So, but it is knit at a tighter gauge. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Whereas I get it. I get this, it. You know, this is a vest, a yes. very light vest kind of thing that could. It's really. Uh, vest kind of is a bad word for it. It's yeah. it's like a shawl with arms. Totally. Armholes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. Exactly. Anyway. No, and I'm. I will probably knit that. I mean, I, I think it's I think it's a cool design. I yeah. just, if I compare it with Viajan, and that yarn is so gorgeous. And this is as far as I've gotten. Woo-hoo. So it's I, a baby. It's it's barely even cast on, but yeah. it is cast on. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I'm using. Now, will my, you use as much? Not as much. No, yarn, right? I don't think I will use as much yarn. Okay. So okay, maybe you know. Yeah. But this is the headmaster. Maybe I should get that yarn, and we could be twinsies. Totally. We could do both. Do. I might have a skein of it for you. I don't know. Yeah, I'll have to look and see yeah. how many. How many I figure yeah. out what already how many yards it takes, but and I don't know how much is in each of these. But yeah. Um, anyway, so cool. Okay. Yeah. Sad, but I get it. I get it. I'll get, I, o- I'll I, get I over it. I disappointed it. you. And I'll you get you over think it. I'm an idiot now. <laughs> I'm the one I use, that needs to I use, over I use stuff. idiot very loosely, okay? I don't. I don't. Clearly. You know, obviously, obviously, <laughs> it's not. Uh, you know, I could have called you a bunch of other things. And I have been called a bunch of other not things. Not by me. No. <laughs> and it doesn't hurt my feelings. Okay. So. You, know, you know I love you. Yeah. I just, it just shocks, well, yeah. it shocks me <laughs> because you were so in love with the Viajant and I was like, oh, she, she knows. She's got the vision. You know? Yeah. I had the vision and then it went away. I know. And, and that's okay. It yeah, happens. It I, happens. I do like it mm-hmm. and I'm not ruling it out for the future. Yeah. 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 It's just at this point I would, mm-hmm. I could see me knitting it yeah. and then never doing it. Having it sit. Yes. Yeah. No. So. And that's true. It's like, if you're going to put that much time into something, yeah. you gosh darn better wear the heck out of it because yeah. it took so much time. Exactly. Yeah. And I have that same problem with a sweater that I've started like three times. So I'm no better. I'm debating on whether I need to 
give up on it or okay, not. It's time for me to sit and judge. That's right. You, you can judge me all you want. <laughs> it's so true. So I love this pattern. It's the by Fiber Co. Hikari. Oh, I think I've ever someone sweater. posted that. Yeah, somebody. It's at, kind oh. of got a weird angle to it or something. Yes, um, yeah. Letty Barnes, Letty BHDQ. She was the one that recommended this pattern to me. And so I went out and bought it, and I absolutely love it. So I bought this yarn, the yarn from China, the mink mix of stuff, and it's gorgeous, navy blue. I do love it. It's that a color. gorgeous color. Bought enough for the whole thing. And it does call for, um, like, a lace. It's a lace weight yarn. Um, so... That's pretty much what this stuff is. In fact, this stuff, I would consider it's a heavy lace weight. Um, it definitely, don't you think? to me, it looks almost more fingered. That's what I think, but it's definitely a heavier Well, I'll tell you what, weight. I have a, um, I don't know if this will help you, you might yeah. have one, but I have one of those wraps per inch Oh, right, tools oh, like, that'd be good, that'd be um, good. So I don't know why I'm having this problem because the pattern calls for lace weight. Now in her picture, to me, it does not look super it holy. Look holy. It no. looks very tightly knit. It calls for a size uh, four and six needles. So four is for the cast on, and then you change to six for the body. So I took gauge, and I was two stitches too big. Two stitches, you know, whatever. So Angelique, dear sweet, was telling me, why don't you go down a needle size, you know, or two even. Yeah. And also, my gauge swatch was super holy. And there's some beautiful lace here on the shoulder, and it was almost lost because it was already so holy that that didn't stand it, out at all. Your sweater already looked Yeah, nice. it already looked holy, yeah. so this beautiful lace kind of got lost in it. So I went down two needle sizes, still super holy. And I'm like, I'm not going to knit this thing on a one or a zero. I refuse. No. And so I don't know what to do because um, I'm not a super loose knitter. I'm not. I feel like my gauge is usually... Well, could you just go with what you're knitting with your gauge and then do a size smaller of the sweater? I don't think that would still affect your the holiness, though. You'd still have oh, the holiness. Oh, right, because your sample did, or your swatch did have, whole, it was holy. Yes, it's very, it's yeah. a very holy knit. And so part of me is like, should I knit this sweater with some fingering weight? But to me, this is, like I said... I know, it's it It's a heavy like a, lace yeah. weight, so it should be fine. And then I thought maybe I should double this up, but then I won't mm -hmm. have enough yarn. And I don't know if I'm from China. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I don't think I'm guaranteed to get the same right. yarn have or color. Have you read through the pattern? People who have done that pattern to see. No, if I'm not that smart. I need to. I need to do that. I need to do that because that would help. Yeah, someone may have had the same issue in, in their comments. Put what they did or. Yeah, because I love. I love the look of it on her picture because it's very. Um, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what to do. Yeah, look into it that I way. I need to do that. I need to do that. That's my next move. I will do that. That's okay. smart. I don't know why I didn't think of that. We're going to hold you to that. Thank you. Because I love the sweater and I love the yarn and I want to knit it so badly. So yeah. I have cast it on like two or three different times and I just, I tried getting past the holiness. I was like, I'm just going to keep going. But it <laughs> just bothered me. No, I'm glad that you recognize that you shouldn't. Yeah. For a sweater, it's like, I don't want to take, I don't want to do put that much work into it and then have it be something that I'm like oh if only I would have exactly. done this or right so that's hopefully going to be on the needles this week sometime but um, I think that's all I have oh no I have this project but oh, well. before I do that I mm -hmm. forgot to mention that our Rose City Rollers winner is mm -hmm. going to get this Desert Vista Dye Works tote bag oh, canvas cool. tote bag very cool and Melissa had sent us some naughty by nature, nitty by nature. <laughs> I swear I don't do it on purpose. <laughs> um, speaking of which, I Cute. just knitting is my jam. Knitting See, my we jam. just talked about that. Perfect. But she sent us several little uh, giveaway items. Fun. So you'll Fun. get one of these yes. items from mm -hmm. Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah, thanks. That's awesome. Maybe Very we should cool. do one for her too. Maybe. Well. We'll get. We'll come back to yeah, on that. Yeah, we'll think on it. Okay. Think on it. So my my last thing that I have been working on is this. I got this yarn mm. in the mail magically. Mm. Uh, I think that I am one of those people that get awesome ads on my Instagram. Mm. Like people complain about the ads that come up on their Instagram. I get awesome stuff. Yes. I get funny things. I get um, insulting things. I mean, I get really funny Inspiring things. Inspiring things. Inspiring things. Yes. Well, one of the things that I had gotten as an ad was this, an ad for the skein of yarn 
from it's beautiful oh my gosh i love it it's so soft uh, i have to find it because i wrote it really big oh good i mean i typed it really big oh yes here we go oh that's not it oh yeah it is <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> we all just had this conversation. Well, cat and, mouse game. and I'm the only one that had to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so it's mm. called June Pearl by Expression Fiber Arts. Mm. And I saw it and I just loved it because mm. it really does look like a pearl. Yeah. And it's alpaca and silk. Yeah. It's <clears> so excuse me. soft. So when it arrived, I knew mm. it wasn't going to just come up here and sit. It had to get cast mm -hmm. on. And the only thing that this could become is a cowl mm -hmm. because it has to be. Totally. Yeah. So, I bought this pattern called Curl Curl by Meg Gatsby, mm. and it's very plain. I mean, it looks like it's just knit and stockinette, and you mm -hmm. think, why do you need a pattern for that? Mm. But I decided to go ahead and buy the pattern, just because yeah. I didn't want to try to figure out how many stitches right. to do. And then she also does the thing where you cast on more, and then you do some decreases mm. to give it a little bit of shape and oh, stuff. Okay. I'm not going to figure that out, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So... I paid five bucks for a pattern exactly. or whatever it was. It's going to a good cause. Um, yeah. Um, so that I have not gotten very far, but mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, it's super soft. And I'll show it now because yes. I have this out from Sugar Tots. Because Angelique had mm -hmm. some of these and I saw them and I fell in love with them. Yes. These little stitch markers. And I think you can get them in Progress Keepers too. Mm -hmm. It's a little tea bag. So cute. And I mean like tea bag to where it even has the string with the yeah it's just so cute it I is so it. cute so anyway that's it's so cute that's that that's my last active whip that i can think of yeah so so going to finished object oh because you don't have any more either i don't either okay. i i yeah nice. i hate when you're at that stage where you're like in limbo you know like you want to cast on a million things but you're trying to get organized you're yes. trying to figure out what yarns you have what you need still and like that sweater trying to figure that out it's like i want to get it on and start knitting it but i feel like i still have some homework to do you know yeah i almost wish i would have done the homework weeks ago in preparation <laughs> you mean like before started. yes like yeah way before i know some people do that i know they prepare for things but there's a lot of things i want to knit yeah. so i'm kind of going crazy because there's like things going on in my head that i'm like oh my gosh i have to cast that on that's time. why you look so tired i think so You've got i'm things exhausted going on I'm, knitting, in I'm knitting in the middle of the <laughs> night in my head yeah that's what it must be so okay so finished objects yes so I'm I bought mine. this Malabrigo lace oh. in Simply Taupe and Barocco Andean Mist, which is like a, um, I don't think it is a, a true, um, oh my gosh, what am I thinking? Mohair? Mohair. I mean, it is mohair, but I don't know, they don't call it mohair. So if it's not called mohair, then it's not mohair. So I don't know what it is. It's Andean Mist. Did you guys follow that? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not even following it. And I don't have my little tag here. I thought I did. I probably do somewhere. Actually, I do. Sorry, my mind is like... It's okay. It was my turn a minute ago. I got yes. my complete conversation with I myself. Know. And yes. now you're having yours. I am. There you go. I don't even have the tag anymore. Sorry, people. Okay, it's just beautiful stuff. You know, Andy and Mist. So to me, that looks like mohair, but it's it's not. It's something else. They do call it... So I think I remember what you're talking about. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Okay, yeah. good. I'm not completely losing it. Mm -hmm. It's the Malabrigo lace. <laughs> I don't have the taupe. <laughs> I don't have the taupe in here. I don't know if I use. I don't think I used it all up, but I just. Well, you're left doing it that. Home. Can you just sneak me that skein so I can just look yes, at it? Yes, you can look at <laughs> it. I'm dying it's here. It, yes, <gasps> yes. So I knit two hats. Oh. Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God. <gosh. laughs> While you look at yarn. So this uh, looks humongous, and it really is humongous. This hat huge. pattern is. <laughs> what are you going to do with that? Well, it fits. That's, oh. that's, oh. what's, not, that's okay. what's funny. It's Pearl okay. Soho Simple Pleasures hat, and it really is the simplest hat ever, which I love because it's very simple. So I did the taupe doubled for the cuff, okay. and then I broke one strand and did the taupe and the I love the Andean coloring. mist. You know what's so funny is that it's so that. similar to the colors of my pearl. Yes. I mean, really, when you, you think you about true. it. You're true. You're true. It, the, that's the, right. Oh, look. It's like a perfect, okay. <laughs> it's like a match made in heaven. Okay, so this one, it's definitely, um, you're supposed to fold the cuff all the way up. So it's definitely slouch, slouchy, but not too bad, not too slouchy. No. I feel like it's fine. It looks so much better on your head than when you were holding it. Well, it's, okay, so it's funny. I did the needles recommended for this pattern, and I don't remember what size it was. So then after I was done with that, I was like, I want to knit another one, but I'm going to go down a couple needle sizes. So this one is the other color. But the same Andean mist, you know, here. Stuff. Yeah. This one is definitely 
more fitting. Still, uh -huh. still slouch. Yeah. But not as bad and more fitted here. It's definitely not as How, baggy. Are you more comfortable? Which one's more comfortable? They both are. Oh, okay. It's funny. This one I wore like two days in a row because my hair is so bad right now. My grow out is like that big and I'm, I have an appointment Tuesday and I cannot wait. So I wore it couple days in a row and I love how just kind of loose and just yeah it stays on so it's not too loose that it's like falling off but then this one I feel like in the winter when it's really cold that's true this will be better for going out in the snow and really like putting it around my ears and to, no, to actually be warm yeah no yeah. air is going to come through whereas this one's more of a casual throw it on it's cute you know so same pattern but just different um yeah, and I love nice. how soft and halo-y it is it makes me want to buy all the mohair and knit everything with mohair. In fact, my sweater, I thought about getting some navy blue mohair or some gray or something, but I'd have to buy so much of it. So if anybody knows of like a huge skein of mohair <laughs> that's not outrageously expensive, I'd love to buy it because these skeins are only, I think it's only like 200 or 100 and something yards maybe. So it doesn't, I had to buy another skein to do the second hat. So one skein did a hat and maybe a half. I had to go yesterday to get more of it. to finish. So now I have some left, but I don't even think that would be enough for another hat. So it's like it goes fast, you know. Huh. But I just, they're so soft and squishy and I just, oh my gosh, I want to knit cowls with mohair. <laughs> I want everything mohair. I love it. I'm kind of in love with mohair. I'm thinking you are. I think, yeah, it's a love affair. And it's from so. a goat. I know. Right? I, I don't know. Yeah. I no, think we, so. do know. we do know. We just don't necessarily remember. <laughs> I think that's exactly, what it is. Yes. Yes. Angora. Yeah. Not an angora. No, that's, that's bunny. a bunny. And I'm allergic to those. Yes. So no, I just keep those away. I just love the mohair. I just yeah. think it gives us beautiful. It does. It's and halo. it looks. They both look very good on you. So fun. Thanks. Well, I'm trying to grow my hair out at least the front so that I can wear hats in the fall and not look like I'm uh, bald. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. But um. So that was fun, and I love hats because you can whip them out one True, day. It is one nice. day, and they're done. It's funny. I just had Good seen gift. my uh, my leftover yarn. It's um, black trillium fibers. Yeah. That I did that hat that's up yep. there on the. And I, I was thinking, I love that yarn, that dark brown, mm. and then the headwood color. But I did not like how that cat that hat came out. Oh, how come? And what didn't you I like don't about remember? It? Okay. And um, maybe is it I'll, the pattern or is well, it? I liked the pattern, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I should get it. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I can't remember what pattern that was. Well, show your other okay, thing, better. and I'll okay. grab it and see. So Angelique, I had to go over to her house this morning because I knit her uh, the Fairy Hill shawl for her birthday, and so I asked her if I could borrow it. Not that the not that the pictures are going to do it justice or the video, because to me, this shawl you have to like see in person. I don't know. I didn't full. I mean, I don't know. It's Picture, very pretty. Pictures don't do it justice. No, it's true. But it's the Fairy Hill shawl by Helen Stewart from Curious Handmade. But it has all the beautiful beautiful beads which you guys can't see probably but they're very iridescent and purple and pinks and um so pretty so anyway i knit this for her for her birthday it was one of those things where i started knitting it kind of like with carrie's shawl and i was like oh my gosh it's angelique's yarn it's gorgeous she likes purple it should be for her birthday and her birthday's right around the corner so it's like everything worked together and yeah so this was that shawl that I started like 50 billion times and kept screwing up, which was stupid because it's a very easy pattern, but it just, I, so I had the million stitch markers on it and that finally right. got me through The Zumba it. shawl. <laughs> yeah. So it was nice to have it done, but that being said, while I knit it and was finally doing it correctly, I enjoyed it. It was very fun and, and the beads were fun. I hadn't done beads in forever, so um, it was kind of fun to go back to doing some beads. And the beads were so pretty that it was just... Oh, I just loved it. Nice. So, yeah. So it was... And I bet Angelique just her. loved it. She did. She loved it. She just, you know, it's kind of like with Carrie. She was like, you know, I don't ever get things knit out of my own yarn. As it, You know what I mean? Sure. So it's like a, if somebody dyes their own yarn. Oh, I just love that blue. I don't want the pinks. <laughs> it is just, really the pretty. The beads are so pretty. Yeah. Um, you know, people that dye yarn, sometimes they keep their own yarn and knit with it, but a lot, but they don't get something knit for them, you know? Sure. So it's like, it's cool when you can get something that's knit out of your yarn. But I did tell Angelique, I now have to buy a skein of each of these because I have to have them in my stash. Uh -huh. So it's the Pearls and Lace and the Tea Time colorway, and I just love them together, and I think they're gorgeous. They are the very yarn. gorgeous. I mean, they're two of my favorite colorways. Um, garden parties, another one that I just absolutely love. 
tops. I just think they're beautiful colors. They are. <laughs> so anyway, okay. but it felt good to give to her. It was, it, I don't know. It's like funny. The more I'm giving away stuff, the more I'm like, oh, I like this. This is kind of fun. <laughs> it's, it's, it's making me think that I think I am more of a process knitter. I like the process uh -huh. because I'm okay giving them away, even though yeah. I love that shawl. Yeah. Love it. But it was like, it was okay giving it away, yeah. you know? But then there's a few things that I'm like, hell no. Yeah. You know, that, that's Your for Your viajant. Me. Yeah, my viajant. I'm like, that's for me. Yeah. Sweaters too, of course, because oh, yeah. they're very personal. But, yeah. but it's funny. Certain things I'm just like, it's okay. You know, it's, it's meant for them. I think once you know that it's meant for somebody. That's true. Because she asked me, she was like, well, when did you decide? I said, well, I finished it. I put it on and I was like, this is Angelique's. Like, it's just hers. It's not mine. Like, it just felt like this is her shawl. So it no longer had that sentimentality tied to it. It was like, no, this is her shawl. So I don't know. I'm just trying to listen to that voice more often and be, try to be more giving because I'm usually not a very giving person. So I'm maybe not with your nids. I think no. you're a giving person. No, thanks. Okay. And okay. then our test our nets test nut, yep. by Janine. Yes. The Yexa Yexa shawl. shawl. It's done in DK. Yep. DK. Her yarn. Her yarn. Janine yarn. Now, I so. wish that I had done mine. Mm. You guys can see it. Well, I just reversed Although the colors. it's really not that much different. Well, it is different because you don't have the speckly yarn as your border. Yeah. You know, I have I just solid. mean, there's not, it's not, because I was thinking I would have liked it if more mm. of my speckled showed. Yeah. But I, it oh. doesn't use a ton more. No, I don't think so. So. I don't think so. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. So, that's it. I'd be curious. We should compare sizes. I'd be curious oh, how, because yeah, we both washed idea. and blocked it. I'd be curious what. That's a good you know, idea. The size okay. Would be. Oh boy. This would be interesting to see. Why I ran out of yarn and you didn't. Yeah, I came close. Yeah. It was super close. Yeah, so close. you think they probably will be close. Approximate in size. All right, let me see here. How are we even going to know, like, what's. Well, because. Oh, how long? They're matching up. Well, like not, the ends aren't. Okay, so yeah. how mine's a little bit longer. A little bit longer. And then... Oh, yours is a little bit longer. Then. Now, is that because I blocked it more? Maybe, maybe more aggressively. Well, but your gauge might be looser because obviously be. you ran out of the one right. point and I didn't, so... Well, had you... Did you... Of course, I... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mine must be a little bit... Might be. Might yeah. be a little bit looser. Because I, I feel like I blocked it pretty aggressively, but maybe I didn't, you know. Well, I wasn't, I didn't, I would not say that I blocked it aggressively. Yeah. I just, um, I just blocked wondered if, it. yeah, well, because I guess part of the reason I said that is I bought some new wash. Okay. And I didn't know if maybe that loosened the fabric Oh, more, maybe, maybe. But. Do you know your colorways? Because my colorways were oh. seaside and pool. So oh. I'm assuming. No, I'm sorry. I didn't I'm assuming. I have them somewhere. Okay, but I don't know which is which. Would that be seaside and pool? You know, that's a good question. I don't know. I should have. Because they both apply. That. Wouldn't yes, they? they both apply. So yeah. I don't know. But I loved the different stitch patterning yep. she did. Me like too. It, the striping. The, it, it definitely kept your interest. Yeah. You didn't get bored. Never got it. bored with a section. I have not knit a DK shawl, and I don't even know if I ever have. I've never. So for me, it. Um, it was different. I'd never, yeah. I'd never done a shawl in DK. So I, it's very squishy and it's, the yarn yeah. is definitely soft. Yeah. And yeah. So it was a fun knit. It was, yeah. for a test knit, it was fun. Like, definitely. Yep. I don't know if I'd have as much fun test knitting like a pair of socks, you know? Yeah. I think a shawl is just, it was very fun and it was well written. It was very well written. Um, was very well clear. Um, Janine did a great job. So this will be released, I think, in August. I think she was shooting for August. Now, for maybe August. if she gets all of them testing it before. Maybe it'll be earlier. Yeah. Who knows? But you guys will have to look for this pattern. The well, we'll definitely let Yuxa you know. shawl. Yes. And we will have a pattern giveaway. We will. Yes. Yeah. When it comes time. Yep. So you guys will have to knit one of these. So this is what we've been working on. Like, it has taken a lot of our time. Yeah. Because we wanted to get it done. And it was yep. fun. I mean, I looked forward to sitting down knitting on it every day. It was yeah. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Cool. It wasn't drudgery. It no. was just... Mm -mm. I just don't like feeling like I have to get something done. Yes. And again, that wasn't pressure she put on no, me. No, it was no, self-imposed. No. Totally. I always feel like, yeah, I want to hurry and get it done for them. So I always feel like, I don't know. It's like this race. I'm that way with sweaters, though, I find, which is so, I need to change that because it causes me to make more mistakes. But when I start knitting on a sweater, yeah. it's almost like a marathon. Because you want to be able like, I feel like I got to hurry. But then yeah. I, I make stupid mistakes or I... And more careless with things. Yeah, rushing is not. Yeah, good. and it's like, why? You know, I don't know why I feel that way. 
because you want to wear it. sweaters. Maybe, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I guess. Be able to wear it. That's true. Cool. So community service, okay. okay. I guess I'll give that back to you. All right. <laughs> yeah, and so just on the heels of talking about washing and stuff, oh, yeah. I think it was, again, Melissa told me about this fiber wash stuff mm-hmm. that's supposed to be really good at... Um, well, I think it all stemmed from when I was complaining about my cheap whore, uh, this thing. Oh, yeah. yes, the smell of it, yes. What is this called? Find Your Fade. Find Your Fade, yes. I could not think of it. You're asking me. I know. Yeah. Um, so anyway, she told me about this unicorn fiber stuff, and mm-hmm. so I bought the three-pack of the big bottles, because if you're going to buy it, you okay. know what, it wasn't Melissa, I think it was someone else. I'm sorry. Yeah, who knows? So I washed it in one of them and then I did the fiber rinse. Mm-hmm. Just whoa, but I didn't get the lid all the way back on. Oh boy. That would have been That's scary. Sucky. No, yes. it's on there. Look, it just. Oh, they oh, do that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Did you not know that no, before? That I thought funny. that. Okay, they have the kind of lids that do that. And I thought that they looked like it, but I couldn't figure out what the deal was. Oh my gosh. That's and that's hilarious. really embarrassing to admit. But I couldn't figure this out. Oh! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it might not <laughs> do it anymore. Wow. Okay, so we're going to put that away now. Flying lids. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, that was fun. Uh, that was uh, fun. <laughs> that was a great purchase. And it came with, I bought the one that came with uh, a unicorn. Oh, stuff. Cute. Unicorn. oh my gosh. <laughs> because I think wow. that Rose, the, the tiny yes. dictator, Hannah's tiny dictator, yes. needs the oh, unicorn. So, so. cute. So, so did the soap work? Well, I mean, I think that it made it nice. Nice Um, There's the, I mean, because I... Yeah, it smells good. I also used it on this. Okay. I mean, I think it did a good job. Mm. One of the other reasons I bought it is because it's all, you know, cruelty-free. There's no bad stuff in it. And with our antique rugs... Right. When something happens on them, like the dog's vomiting on them, which happens frequently... Mm it would it's nice i thought this would be nice to have something that i know safe to use on it yes yes so i thought even if i don't use it all the time on my hand knits Mm -hmm. and i could use it in the washer yeah oh good good i still prefer the tuft woolens vanilla and almond like that's what i want my stuff to smell like but this needed to just start over it needed to smell different but this reminds me that i had a question you know when you like dry things just laying them out and Mm -hmm. stuff well that didn't happen so much this time with this one but the last one the last time i washed it and Mm -hmm. just laid it there it gets kind of crunchy oh what does that mean or like when you guys talk about hanging clothes out on a line to dry yeah doesn't it make it kind of like crisp like not soft it's like kind of crunchy like Mm, i don't know okay i've never had that do you guys know what i mean I don't line dry things much. Um, I would if I had a clothes dryer, but I don't have one. So. Well, and I have the rack mm-hmm. that I oftentimes will hang. I just put my socks on oh, it. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah. I don't usually put it outside, though, because there's bugs. But yeah. gosh, there's been bugs in here lately, yes, too. Lots of yes. people coming and going. Totally. But anyway, it, to me, it's like it, it doesn't always end up soft. It's mm-hmm. like it. So I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Interesting. But interesting. Okay, never mind. Okay. No, I'm sure there's <laughs> people out there that know exactly know what I'm talking about. Yes. I'm talking about. Yes. Okay. Maybe you don't get all the soap out. Do you think that would be what it would be? Well, I wonder that. And maybe that's it. But like, I don't think you have to rinse. I know. Certain soaps you don't have to rinse. Uh-huh. And certain ones you do. It depends on the soap. Okay. Because certain ones say no rinse, you know, you don't have to Right. Well, I wonder then, about tough woolens. I don't know. You might have to check because that's the only thing. I'm thinking if you have any residue, like that would make it crunchy. Yeah. Maybe. But that's the only thing I can think of that would make it crunchy. Because I've been using tough woolens almost the entire time I've been knitting and yeah. I've, my stuff's always been soft. Okay. It's just something went awry with that fade after I yeah. got it with that stuff and it's, Interesting. you know. Interesting. And what soap was that that originally made it smell like? It that? wasn't soap. It was the sachet of the the rose you know those things that smell that yes places. there's probably chemicals in that i bet you there's chemicals in that oh great it may have stripped your thing uh, because it's not pure but it's i didn't not, wash it in it oh that's true you had it just in, in, in a box there to where it, it yeah. smelled like it okay then never mind yeah. then that wouldn't no be i wouldn't do that okay i was gonna say yeah that would be <laughs> all right well who mm. knows anyway here's the little flyer for the yeah, so that's made for wool i mean it's it made is for, it's okay. um it's called unicorn fiber 
You can trust Unicorn Fiber products to clean and protect fibers from fleece throughout the life of your most cherished yarns and hand knit creations. Mm. So if you had fleece, if you had, I mean, there's she all sorts of. She looks pretty happy. She looks yeah. really happy. Yeah, she looks really yeah, happy. Good for you. Yes. I thought people with that color hair shouldn't wear that color. I know, but maybe. Hmm. We're not going to show this because we don't want to sound mean. Yeah. I mean, we sound mean, but we don't want you guys to see the evidence of what we're being mean about. Yeah. I just go to Carrie. Let's go back to the community matches. service. I liked it when we were going to talk about that. I do too. And we we got a few things to too. show. You have more than I do. You, got a, you got a pile there, honey. Well, I have more coming in the mail, and I'm bummed that it's not here yet. Oh, my mail got here today. I know. Right when mine might have gotten here. Yeah, I'm now, sure it has. So I'm but not home, so. what I'm saying is, I got packages to you open. Do. <laughs> Why don't you open a package? Should that I? Should like I open fun. a package? You should open a package. Okay. Yes. Well, this package is going to. I need to back up a little bit because. I have decided that this Barnyard Knits mm -hmm. is like one of my favorite places. Really? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I had bought a skein of their yarn a while back called Dipped in Chocolate or something. Mm. I think it was Yum. theirs. Sounds but good. But then, uh, and I'm pretty sure I showed it, but I saw these on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. So let's see. So beautiful. This is rose gold, and it's very similar, again, to Pearls and Lace. To Pearls and Lace, but it has a lot more pink. Yes. And it's on sparkle. It's gorgeous. Gold spark, gold Selena. And then this is called uh, Golden Fairy Tale. It's beautiful. Isn't that awesome? It's beautiful. And then they had two other sparkle ones that I was so tempted to buy, but I didn't because I was being Behaving good. Behaving yourself. I was behaving myself. But mm -hmm. what, I kept going back and looking at mm -hmm. them, you know, because I wanted to get yes. them. And I was able to continue to resist those, mm -hmm. although I love them. But this one here, I couldn't. It That's was, the thing. I find that if you keep going back to something, you're, you're just meant to have it. You should yeah. have it because it's like, obviously, you keep loving it, you, you know? Do. So wow. this one is not sparkle, but That's it's a gorgeous. cashmere. Um, it would be gorgeous on sparkle. I know. But it's a cashmere, mm. which of course I love. It's called it's Rosebud. Beautiful. Yeah, um, uh, 801010. Wow. Isn't that? That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, you'll be seeing a picture because it is. I mean, look at look at how. Oh, my oh God. yeah. All three of All them. All three of them. I mean, that would totally. be gorgeous. Totally. Whoops. Sorry, microphone. Uh -oh. You guys probably just. Okay. Those are gorgeous. So, yeah. Oh, yep. And and this does not exhaust the supply of what I've seen on there that oh, I love. Oh, I'm sure. I love I'm their sure. yarn. I'm sure. And I know we say that about a lot of dyers because we do love we a lot do. of dyers. We love lots and, of yarn. And with each love, it's like having children. Yes. You don't love one necessarily more than no. the other. It's, or less. it's a different love. It is. Yeah. We have big enough hearts to we love. We do. We have multiple, big hearts. Multiple yeah. people. You're all special to us mm -hmm. in different ways. Yep, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, oh my gosh. So true. Yeah. That is awesome. It's such a good way to put it about the children thing. Yeah. Because that's so true. Yeah. yeah. So, like when we say, oh, I love this barnyard mm -hmm. knits, it doesn't mean that now I love someone else less. Right. We have enough love to go she around. She didn't take some of your love. No, no. We still have <laughs> pieces of our heart that oh are, my are gosh. willing to give. This is gorgeous. That is beautiful. Yeah. Oh my so, god. Smitten with that. Should we show our um Yes. Okay. So Michelle told me that she <laughs> was going to shop and buy a fringe supply bag. Which so. is really funny. You guys are saying you you're probably thinking I'm a total hypocrite at, or just whatever because for so long I was like, I don't know why people are spending yeah, money on those things. Exactly. I think they're kinda ugly. They're I mean other whatever. people can make similar bags. Yeah. Yeah. So I came home, told my husband, I have to have a French supply bag. I said, Michelle's going to have one. Because I've actually liked them for a She's long time. She's liked them for a long time. But I was like, oh, so, the money. So, you know, I expensive. secretly did it just so you could get one. There you go. Thank you. I did. Thank you. So my husband was Always like, of you. well, honey, go ahead. He didn't know the cost of it. He was oh. like, go ahead, honey, if you really want that bag. And so I, t I did tell him because I felt guilty. I was like, it's this much money. He was like, wow, why is it that much money? Like, what is yeah. so great about this bag? I was like, well, you know, there's like pockets inside. There's grommets that you could put your yarn colors through if you're doing multi. It's a nice heavy knits. canvas. It's going to hold up canvas. forever. It'll last for, it has a, you know, strap here that I can carry. So I, you know, I sold them on it as much as you can sell somebody on an expensive bag that doesn't knit and yeah. doesn't carry bags around. Right, but, um, exactly. Although these are kind of, I mean, I could see tools going in these. Totally. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Totally so, be a tool bag. 
So oh, we got our fringe bags. We got our fringe supply bags, and they are beautiful. They are. And I and do love them. I, I like it, too. I've mm -hmm. not got to actually use it a ton. Yeah, I need to so use it now more. I'll be, but I have my, uh, I had to get one of the, one of the fringe supply pins. So I got the frog. I do have to say, though, our bags from Amy. Little Taylor from Little Taylor S. Which, to me, are very similar it, in style, as mm -hmm. far as the way that draws. Hers sit up stiffer and open a little bit better, oh boy, than the fringe supply. Fringe supply is a little bit more flimsy. Really? I don't see that. But I, well, you have more stuff in it. I was just going to say, it depends on what you have depends in it. Depends on what you have. Because I do have a bunch in there. But Amy's bags just really sit up. Yeah, yeah, I don't have as much. I don't have very much in there either. Yeah. But they just sit open more. And they're lovely. So, and they're beautiful. They're very pretty. And handmade by Amy, so, yeah. you know, there you go. But I do but love... But we just, anyway... Then I nice. also have my rose city yes, roller. Yes, I have Which she got. Somewhere. You know she what? I think, oh, I have it right here. Oh, I have it right here. Okay. I put it in my French slide bag because oh, I brought my knitting last night. Okay. Yeah, a rose city rollers pin. Are you going to put it on there? I might. Oh. I'm just scared you of don't putting holes. holes. I have but I hair. should. I know. I mean, like, I wouldn't put it through the leather handle. Totally. But, totally. And then I have my 2010 oh my gosh, Ravel Olympics. Boston. Uh, it is, but so cute. that's the Ravelry yeah, dog. it is. It is the Ravelry dog. Anyhow, so we love them. Yeah. Yes, I won't be buying bags for a long time. After, I know. After and, but you know what? All of my bags are cute. Yes. And I think that's one thing I like about this mm -hmm. is it's just simple. It's just rugged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's like, rugged. Yeah, no, it's true. Um, I think you could wash it. Do you think? Probably. I would. I think would have so. to look into that. Yeah. I don't know about the leather. Right. Oh, it's but, probably spot clean or something. But you're right, though, because like I feel like with Amy's bag, oh my gosh, I'm I'm way more gingerly careful with her bag. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I don't want it to get. I'm more worried about the embroidery and the s stitches. Um, whereas the French supply, I feel like oh, I toss it in my car, and you know what I mean. So it's like some bags you do feel like oh, it's it's not that they're more precious. They're just no. you know they were handmade and you know. Well, it just looks so. like it could get damaged. It could easier. get damaged, yeah. the hand embroidery and stuff, yeah. definitely. Or, well, machine embroidery. Still embroidery. Yeah. Yes, still beautiful. Embroidery. So what else did you get, my dear? <laughs> I heard that tone. <laughs> no, I love seeing your stuff, especially if I haven't seen it yet. That's true. I, I do. I didn't mean to don't. sound that way. <laughs> well, I do get excited to see Did I stuff. show this yet? I don't think so. Okay, no, so this uh -uh. was the little shark bag Cute. from Willoughby Lane, Willoughby oh, Way cute. on Etsy. Callie, um, uh, throw styler on Instagram. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I have to admit, I thought it was going to be bigger. Yeah. Not that she didn't put the dimensions in right. there, but I never pay attention I to know, those. I know, I don't either. I, I don't have the vision. I don't either. So, um, yeah, so it's it's smaller than I thought it was going to be, but mm -hmm. I think it's really cute. It is very so. cute. So you Smaller put your notions in there no, and stuff. And no, I actually have been using it in my purse oh, nice. for miscellaneous yeah. stuff. Because it's, I like my notion bag that I have. Yeah. And so this one. Oh, okay. This is my favorite notions bag right oh, okay. now. Yep. Um, that changes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Right now, that's it. Yep. So, yeah. um, okay. Well, mm -hmm. I... What's your other package? Oh my gosh, d d well, let's please ourselves. Okay, I just, I'm, curi I'm curious who's in the I'm curious package. too. Okay. I don't remember who it's from. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I got, I had to get the Hippo for Independence Day from Lolo Cute. did it. Cute. Cute. Because, you know. I, I've thought about getting some of hers. I've never bought from her, I don't oh, think. Oh, yeah, I like, I, like I mean, stuff. I have several of hers. It's pretty. Um, and then I, because I was there... Uh, this is Hello Gorgeous mm. of hers, and it's just that pink color yes. that I obviously oh like gosh. so much. Yes, and I I don't know why I think I don't have enough of it yet. <laughs> you need all of it. I need every pink skein out <laughs> Everybody's there. Everybody's mauves and pinks. Yes, yes totally. Okay, because you're definitely more of a rosy. Yes, mauve. No, you're gonna person. laugh. There's definitely a theme going yes. here <laughs> because so. this skein <laughs> that I got. Oh my gosh! <laughs> totally. From so happy, Jane. Cute. It's called Sassy Ballerina. Oh my god! And I mean, it's beautiful. Just, it is, and it's just like all these yeah, colors. Yeah, it all awesome. go together. So That's so pretty. And then she contacted me today mm -hmm. to ask if we were interested in. Um, she'd like to donate a giveaway. Cool. So yes. that's going to awesome. be coming. But so it's so S-E-W. S-E-W, happy uh, She's on Etsy? Um, no, she has her own website okay. now. Okay. It'll be linked. But okay. 
sassy ballerina. Beautiful. That's so really, cute. really pretty. Oh my gosh, you totally have a theme. I have a pink thing going. And hilarious. have for quite a while, actually. It's like I cannot get enough pink. I know. I need oh to stop. Goodness. It's crazy. I need to stop with the pink purchases. Crazy, crazy. Okay, you show something now. So, well, I was at Twisted yesterday getting the other you know, mohair like yarn yes. that I'd run out of. And I saw this. This stuff was on clearance, Malabrigo, oh. their worsted called Little Lovely. And I oh it shows up good here. See all the bright these colors, the dark ones show up well on the screen. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. So I don't know what I will do with it. I didn't really know. But I figured, you know, for tw it was less than twelve dollars a skein because it was like twenty five percent off or something or might have been more off than that. So um, I just thought, you know, maybe I'll do a hat. Okay. And mix it with some. You have my permission. I bet you get some mohair. mohair. Get some mohair to mat to go with it to make it a little fl even more fluffy. Yeah. I don't know actually though because I'm not a huge red person. Oh. I don't know. But I'll it was on sale, so it was. Got it. <laughs> no project in mind, but just thought it was soft and squishy, and I thought it was. I like the pinks, pinkies in it. I do like red. I don't know. I just, I don't knit with much red and I don't wear much red now that I'm thinking about I it. I love red. The problem I've had with yeah. it has been the bleeding. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about um, that. But So I don't know if you guys fine. have any ideas on what to knit with it because you guys are great at telling me what to knit. I mean, I've knit several things that people have said, oh, you should do this. So tell me what you guys think. Worsted weight, two skeins. Uh, they're each 100, 210 yards, so 420 yards. It's all about Leslie and her knitting tell needs me what today. To knit. <laughs> yes, tell me what to knit. Tell me what to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't either. I, would, I mean, because I, I don't buy worsted. So Well, I buy uh, worsted for hats, uh -huh. maybe a cowl, so I could do a cowl. Uh -huh. um, but yes, I, don't, I don't have, I yeah, I don't have a ton of worsted in my stash, and that's kind of why I wanted to buy it, too, because I... I'm trying to add more lace because I love lace, but I always knit lace right away and then I don't have it anymore. So I don't have like a stockpile of lace, you right. know, same with single ply. I hardly have any single ply. So I have some coming in the mail, but, um, so I would like more single ply and worsted. I don't, I just don't worsted. enjoy worsted. So, I mean, unless I had something in particular that I was going to use it for, well, I a, don't buy it's it. It's a quick knit, you know, that's yeah, why I like it because like true. for a Christmas gift, this would be great for Christmas. Very true. Like well, if I did a cowl for and somebody. And it's red. Yeah. So there you go. Or Valentine's Day. It looks to me like it was probably a Valentine's color. Yes. You yeah, know, could be. Totally. But, um, totally. Yeah, and what was it called again? Yeah. A little lovely. <laughs> So we'll see. I don't know. But I just thought for that price, I could yeah. add it to my stash and it could sit there for a little while until totally. I decide what to do with it. But It's good to have things yes, in your stash. It is. Yes, it yes, is. It and it I'm does. liking that one, too. Yes. So this one. Now, what company was it? That it's was not that. this. But uh, it's not them. It's oh, right. Uh, Simply Sock Yarn. Simply Sock Yarn had a major sale. Yeah. And Michelle posted about it. So I went to go check it out. And That's I found gorgeous. this. Yeah, I love this color. It's called Wild Night. You know what? That one was in my cart. Was it? Yes. That is so funny. I love it. That is so funny. The, uh, I, I didn't do it because I just, Had without thought. being able to feel it. Yes. Do you, did you feel I it? I haven't okay. really yet. It's not bad. Yeah, I don't think it's... It's, it's not as soft as some. Right. Obviously. And it's definitely I mean, a bulkier fingering weight. Yeah. I think, don't you think? It's a, it's a it does meteor, seem like a it. meteor um, bulky weight. But, I mean, compare those two. Oh, well, this has cashmere. I know. <laughs> you can't compare <laughs> cashmere to anything. <laughs> cashmere is cashmere. Okay, fine. Yeah. Um, but this is superwash merino nylon. Those colors are killing me, though. They're beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. It yeah. Is. And um, so I don't know why it's a Mineville wool project. I don't know what that means. I think that's the name of the company. Oh, it is the name of the yeah. company. I thought Simply, it was some project or something. Simply Sock Yarn is a place that carries a lot of indie dyers. Okay. And that's why I love them. And, okay. the, you know, I think they're on the East Coast, but I get my stuff so fast from them. Oh, oh, my gosh. I got this before I got some other stuff that was more more local, you yeah. know, closer to me. This came super quick. I was surprised that this even was here. Yeah, no, she's um, really fast. Yeah. So I think out. it's gorgeous. I don't know what it'll be. I just thought it was really pretty. And you know, it's funny it about so cheap. Um, Simply pretty Sock Yarn is that they carry, um, not always, but they'll get, they'll have some um, a la mode, a la mode. Uh, mm. What's the first word in that? House. House a la oh, mode. House of a la mode. House of a la mode. Okay. 
which is a local dyer wow. here. Wow. But we never, she's not in any stores around here. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen her. And yeah. so the, what I have of hers, I got from Simply Soccer. Oh, okay. So I had to buy yarn on the East Coast. Interesting. From Portland to oh, get it back so here. Oh, that's so funny. I don't know why she doesn't sell in any of the yeah, shops around here. That's really interesting. And Stephen B carries her. Oh. And what really bums me out is she did a really neat colorway, I think, for his shop mm -hmm. that he wouldn't sell online. It was just for people to come oh, in. Bummer. And so, yeah, here we have a Portland dyer. Yeah. Yeah. That's dyeing these colors for a shop on the other side of the country oh. that we can't get. Right. I mean, what is wrong with you? That's interesting. That's <laughs> yeah. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what the deal Bummer, is. Bummer, because she does have beautiful yarn. I really do like her yeah. yarn. Yeah. I actually, I have some that I haven't even showed on oh the podcast yet. Oh my gosh, yet. girl. Why not? Because it's over there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. You'll see it eventually. So I don't know how long that sale went on for. I don't know if it's still going if on. It's still going on, but you guys should check it out because yeah. it was like what thirteen dollars a skein. It was 14, very inexpensive. and then shipping, but shipping yeah. was inexpensive. So it was cheap. You know, if you guys are yeah. looking for economical, for an inexpensive, inexpensive but good yarn. yarn, yeah. yeah. And it, oh my gosh, those colors are fabulous. Oh yeah, oh. I loved it. And there were several that I was like, oh, I like there. that one too. Yeah. But I had just bought my French supply bag, yeah. and so I told my husband I'd be, I'd be, I'd be hate myself. <laughs> For a little while. Good for you. Yeah, trying, trying, trying. It's the key word. Yeah. I, I got mm. a skein of mustache yarns um, from their great reads. She's she and Little Skein are doing a thing, and I mean, you know, she, I'm sure she does a lot of things, but <laughs> uh, this is Uncle Albert, mm. and it's a speckly. It's a speckly. I didn't buy it necessarily because I wanted it to do one project. Okay. I I just thought it was a fun, like for heels and toes. Oh yeah. This is definitely not something I would do for my like I wouldn't do a cowl. Yeah. Or something or out a of shawl. This. Yeah. But yeah. no. Yeah. But I, it was just fun colors, mm -hmm. and I thought it'd make great heels totally, and toes totally. or feel it too. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if she got a new base, wow. but I do like it. Yeah, that's very but nice. Anyway, so that's. Very pretty. That's kind of fun. Now, what's it named after? Do you know? I don't I know. Think Uncle Albert. Albert. Uncle Albert, I think, was a... Uh, oh, thank you. Does it say? Well, if it doesn't say on here... Okay. I think it has something to do with that thing you like, that um, Mary Poppins. Oh, Because it Albert. says carpet yes. bag, London, Uncle Albert. Yes, that makes sense. Yes. And I got three minis that I thought Cute. were just... Because she, the, doing speckles is different for her. Yeah, that's true. I was going to say, yeah. I don't... I okay, so this is carpet bag. Okay. This is... I don't know. Care... Oh, this is not a tame lion. So this one is from... Lion, the Witch, lion, and the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And this is ca Care Paravel. Paravel. Mm -hmm. I really liked that one. Mm -hmm. And this is London okay. from... So, and then they're doing Mouse on the Motorcycle, mm. which I loved that yes, book as a kid. Yes, me too. But the yarn, I probably won't, I'm not really interested in that skein. Okay. Um, but, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, so Very I just thought cool. these were fun, fun colors for yes. something specific like heels yeah, or toes. Yeah, definitely. Or not a whole, I couldn't do Or minis to put into something. I could make minis, I could make a bunch of minis mm -hmm. and give them to people. Yeah. I was thinking about, I've thought about that with mm. all my, a lot of the stuff that I have, I could do. Yeah. Well, it might be something I do for Christmas for some yeah, people. You Make have them a, an you advent. Have a ton. Oh, my gosh. I Yeah, when does Opal start selling their advent? Because I want to be the first one to order Seriously? one. Seriously? Oh, because you because, really like their yarn. Well, I like their yarn, but I also watched somebody's vlog last Christmas, and I do not know who it is. Yeah. And each day they played pretty antique Christmas music, and it showed them opening up the door and taking out the mini and just uh -huh. showing it. And I was like be so fun to do that every day but you know i mean you could do a swap with like i did a swap last year with the minis i know but it's all about the little box you okay have to punch open the little box okay. to get the mini out gotcha you know got it i just that would be so fun that's like a gift to yourself that every day you get to get up and check on the new mini and and then knit it into your, you know, during Christmas into your coat. Okay, into a you blanket. definitely need to get one of those. But I just don't know when they start selling them. I don't because I always am late to the game, and then they're you sold are. out. I will keep yeah. my. Will well, you keep? You. Yes, you. I will handle it. Thank you. <laughs> like you do everything. <laughs> when it comes she to takes, shopping, she takes care of I am me. good. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You're the expert. I just the wish that it bee. somehow paid off for yeah. us instead of the opposite <laughs> happening. Know. Money going out all exactly. the time. Exactly. Oh my goodness, yes. that's true. Okay. Okay, so should we talk about like yeah. this? Yes, stuff? let's talk about that from okay. Carmen. 
Yes. Carmen in New Zealand. Oh my goodness. Who participates in our stuff at Knit Along. And she's so good at it. She she Ooh. makes these adorable ornaments. So cute. And she posted some on Instagram and when she posted the killer whale, I was just mm. like, Oh my god. And she tried so You've hard. gone too far yes. now, Liz. <laughs> and she tried so hard to do a gnome for me. It was so sweet. Even in the note, she was like, I'm still trying, you know. And that was yes. so sweet. You don't have to. But thank you for the efforts. But the little penguin. The penguin. Is adorable. And what was the other guy? And then Santa Claus. Santa. She let us pick one for Everett. Yes. And so Everett has the little Santa Claus. And she sent him a little kiwi stuff. Not the fruit. Animal. Yeah, not the fruit. And you squeeze its belly, and it makes the sound of a kiwi. And Everett loved it, and has been carrying it around ever. He slept with it for That's nap time awesome. the other day. Aww. So he just and his parents were like, "Oh my gosh, they sent this from New Zealand for Everett." You know who sent this? So I was like, "Oh, people that watch our podcast, you know, and uh, or lady that watched our podcast." And he was just like, "My brother-in-law was like, that's so kind of her to do that and to think Very of him." Sweet. So thank you so much, and he loved it. It was. I'll have to post a picture of him. Oh, with it, absolutely! Because it was. Uh, it's adorable watching him with it but yeah so thank you and this would have been more than enough and especially and I don't know if I told you this part Mm -hmm. but I'd been wanting her address Mm -hmm. um, before but I knew we'd have it on a return package right her dog died she had to have her her longtime companion dog you know put not companion like I don't think it was a work dog right her dog yeah, and so, I mean, you know how heartbreaking totally, that would be. And then totally. to still be thinking of sending oh us something. Oh, my gosh. So we're really sorry so about So nice. Dog. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. But I'm she also sent us some New Zealand candies to yes, try out. Yes, which they're gone. I still Mich- have mine. Michelle and I split them. <laughs> Actually, I gave you more. You gave Just me so more. You Thank you. About it. <laughs> I literally went home that night and kept eating them. Repeat, and they were well, gone. Which was your favorite? Oh, my gosh. All of I did not love the little top, the, top the car the yeah the one that yeah yeah okay. but the chocolate ones there was ones that were filled with like little gummies of some sort and then the other one was just like a chocolate crunch oh my gosh I <laughs> I don't even know I don't even think my family got any I think <laughs> I think my husband got one piece of one of them oh, that's great I ate all the rest I'm the type if it's in my house I, I will eat it all and if it tastes good and this stuff was amazing chocolate it was so good. Well, really when bad. we're done and we go downstairs, I'll give you a piece. No, I have to not do that. I've been bad the last two days. Oh, I know. But it was so good. Okay. It was worth it. So anyway, she sent us lovely chocolates and candy from New Zealand. And some other cute stuff. I posted a picture. I'll put yes. another one in here. But also some yarn. Some beautiful yarn. Yes. This oh, it's stuck to my Malabrigo. Ah. So I think this is Yarnium. I think that's the brand. I think that's... They changed yeah, their name. So. so now it's Yarnium. And I think... I think they're just online. I don't think they're on um, Etsy. Etsy, I don't think. It doesn't say an Etsy shop's name. So so look for Yarnium. But this is called Dipped in Highlighters, which I think is so Perfect funny. Perfect name. Oh, Smushy my gosh. Smushy Sparkle Socks, Superwash Merino Nylon, and Silver Stellina. Love it. But I just thought that was so, and what a cool name for it. And it has yes. like a gray background to it. So I thought that was fun. And I'm not a huge, like, fluorescent color person, but that gray just, like, I don't know if it, like, it gra- really does grounds it, it or yeah. balances it to where then those colors pop. So yeah. I love it, you know? Cute. It's yes, just, yeah, totally. I think it'll be fun socks or... I think it'd be great socks. I think it would yeah. be great socks. But I could even see it in a cowl if you added some gray yeah. or something or added, picked out one of these colors from True. it. And it has orange in it, so anything with orange is, you know, mm-hmm. really cool. So we got that. And we also got, did you want to get out the other one too? Um, or are we going to save Go it ahead for, and show that okay. one for me while I do. Right. She also sent us, um, this is also from Yarnium, Mermaid Kiss. And it's two 50 gram skeins. Super. It's a sock set. But I think they are beautiful. The other skeins she sent as a giveaway. And yes. we had it. And we were thinking of using yes. it with the Rose City. But we decided not to. So... It will it, be a future giveaway. It'll be yes. a future giveaway. Well, the, the one that we're not showing you. Yeah. So. But anyway, I thought these were so pretty. They're very, very I loved pretty. The gradient set. I love it. I think it's beautiful. So thank yes. you for the yeah, yarn. Yeah, I know that was super And then sweet. she sent us buttons. Cute buttons and, and bookmarks. And that that's thing? someone else. That's someone else. Yeah. So that was like. There's the bookmark right there. Did we get that from? Yes. We got from this. Yes. From Carmen. Look at this. Cute bookmark. Has a sheep on it. And it's like wood. Oh, cute. It's so adorable. It goes in this little pocket. Chapter Catcher's bookmark. So anyway, super cute. Yeah. So that was very, very, very 
Like, we very appreciate it. Oh my gosh. It. We very yeah. appreciate very it. Very appreciate We're it. We're using our big words now. I know. <laughs> Boy, well, I don't know. When people send us stuff, it's like so shocking. It is. It <laughs> kind of overwhelms me. It overwhelms me because yeah. I'm just like, oh my gosh, you guys are so nice and very sweet. Very nice. To think of us. And the same day, yes. we also got this from Mary. Mary Jo. Mary Jo. Thank you. Mary Jo. And we had mentioned in our last podcast how much we loved gnomes. And so she said, I knew I needed to send you my in the garden set of stitch markers. So there was a set for each of us oh. and one for a giveaway. Did oh. I bring, is that yours or mine? Because it's yours because I gave you those. Yes, that's mine. Yeah. And then I just put it all in the same bag. Actually, I did that. Oh, you did that. Okay. Don't be taking credit right, for the right, bagging. All right. You things. did the bagging. Yes. So sorry. So these stitch markers are made really by cute. her. And I think, does she have an Etsy shop? I can't. I don't Let know. Let me see. Um, the Crafting Treehouse. Yes, she's on Etsy. The Crafting Treehouse.etsy.com. And she's on Instagram as Mary Jo the Knitter. Oh, okay. So, but they are adorable. There's a gnome. There's a gnome house and a little mushroom. But anyway, we'll post really a picture cute, of yeah. it. Because you guys won't be able to see it. But yeah, the Crafting Treehouse on Etsy. So you guys will have to check them out. But they're so Well, cute. yeah, you'll have to. Let's. We should do the giveaway oh. so we don't forget. Yes. So let's do that. we'll open one up, go to her shop, which I haven't yes. done yet. I, I haven't either. I need to do it. I need craft, to do it. The Crafting Treehouse. So yeah, we'll have a giveaway. Just go on her site and maybe tell us something what you yeah. like about her shop we don't know what to say because yes. we haven't been there yet but and then michelle lovingly you know she's so sweet and giving mm -hmm, that's me oh, she always is sweet she is too. sweet to leslie she is she's very sweet <laughs> so she bought me this who's it from? darning needle moving mud moving is mud the is the name it's a glass darning needle beautiful it's pink she let me pick. I let yeah. her pick. I I had seen these. I don't mm. remember how. Yeah, but it's beautiful. Because I hate we hate leaving it. We ends. do. But if you have a pretty tool, you have a pretty tool, it makes it worth all the all the. All so the I had sent this gal a message a while back mm -hmm. asking if I could buy some from yeah. her, but she was like on a Vacation. circuit or something, oh, you know, okay. like or she may have been vacationing, but yeah. she said that she would do yeah. that. And so I kind of forgot. Ab I mean, yeah. I kind of forgot about it. Yeah. And she sent me a message saying that she was back, and and so facilitated that and got them. And I love them. They're, they're so beautiful. yeah. You guys won't be able to fully appreciate the beauty, but they're. I don't even know how she'd make this. I, I mean, don't they're know. so tiny. I know. And like, yeah. glass. I don't glass, know. I yes. don't get it, but it's really really pretty. Yeah. And then Michelle also got me this beautiful the tea bag. That Angelique was talking about from sugar tots. sugar tots, which we've heard about. Different podcasters have mentioned sugar tots. Which I haven't heard. I mean, uh, the I had some sugar heard tots too. Yeah, and then a little gnome because she knows I love gnomes. They're so cute. They are adorable. It makes me want to finish my gnome mittens. You do need. I to need to your, yeah. because this would be a cute progress keeper on my gnome well, mittens. Maybe it'll give me incentive get on it. to yeah. do that. Yeah, better. So. um and then Michelle and I got our minis. Ever, I never showed anyone, everybody did yes. that did it in the DPC. In the DPC, and I love them. Oh, I do too. And Erica so cool. is at Black Sheep Fiber Fest yes, this weekend. Yes, this weekend. So we are happy to oh. hear that she is going to be at Off yes. and the Columbia Gorge one, which makes me feel okay that yes. I'm not there this weekend because right. I went last year and had a wonderful time, and it just kind of makes me think, oh. But then I wouldn't be here with you guys. So. Yeah. yeah, not an option. Priorities. Yeah. So she's gonna give us a coupon code once she gets back from doing some. Oh, fun. And stuff. Okay. She said her shop's empty right now oh, because sure. of all this. So you it's will so have pretty. a future in the DQC coupon code. I cannot wait. To, I'm I'm serious. When we go to off, I will go to her first. Uh, yeah, totally. First stop. First stop. Same with in the gorge. Yes, in the gorge. Gonna I'm gonna go, gonna go right to hers there. first before I spend all my money and have no money left, and exactly. then go. Oh my gosh, I have to have her yarn. Yeah. So, and uh, do we still have openings for the Black Sheep Yarn Shop swap? swap I think there swap. are. Yep. So go on to our Ravelry. Yeah. And I just want to give you guys the heads up. Mm -hmm. We're not going to do any more of those for a while. Okay. I okay. mean, I'm not saying forever, yeah. but I feel like we've exhausted people, <laughs> you guys, because, you know, I mean, not yeah. like we're trying to force anything no, on anyone, right. but uh, I don't want to feel like we're constantly. You know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if if you've been thinking and lisa the gal that coordinates mm -hmm. them she always has them going oh, yeah. so it's not like oh my gosh you're not gonna find right some podcaster usually always has something always going something. with that yeah definitely. but if you're wanting to participate in this with us do it now or forever for a while hold your peace that's right so yeah yeah yeah, yeah i think that's a good idea 
Okay, I awesome. forgot to show this last time, but it's from, I think that it's the Steady Hand mm. is the name of the shop, but it's a Progress Keeper. I think you showed this. All right, did I? I, showed, I think I, think I put did. a picture in. I showed you. Did I? I yes. don't think I showed okay, it maybe on here. Not. Maybe not. Maybe I did. I don't know. It could have been you just showed me. I don't know. Who knows? I might, and I don't even know if I put a picture in the thing. I don't know. Have you guys seen this yet? <laughs> <laughs> if you have, here you go it's again. It's really cool. <laughs> no, it is you so cool. You know what? Cool. I think I did because I think I said something about it being Nitty by Nature's it looks like her shop because I have oh. so many of hers. It's like your coat that you open so up maybe and have all the watches. I don't guys, know. I don't sorry. know. I don't know. But it's a cool it's thing. Fun. I mean, Let's just look at it again. Yes, because I have so many stitch markers just hanging out in every single project bag, which is good. You have to have yeah, some in every bag. Yes. But I think that's really neat because if you're looking it. for a specific one, especially the right there. progress keepers, I like to keep them separate yes. Yes, from stitch, stitch markers. markers. Yes. And, um, Such okay. a great idea. And then my, aunt, my final Ann Tudor club oh club okay. i was gonna say final purchase what you know, I, probably not <laughs> she's <laughs> gonna redo how she does her club starting in july mm -hmm. okay and if i understand it correct she's gonna make a special set for club people oh but you can go buy it or you don't have to i don't really understand actually okay. so never mind okay. check with her yeah but i love her stuff oh so. she's got beautiful stuff so these are fruits oh, and vegetables. Cute. So there's a little kiwi, the kind of kiwi I recognize. Yes, not the animal. I didn't know that kiwi was a bird. I think it's the actual New Zealand's bird, I think. Interesting. I think it is. I, that's what my sister that would was make saying. Sense I was like, as okay. To why. Yeah. But when, yeah. when I read her note and it said something about a stuffed kiwi, I was expecting <laughs> a stuffed kiwi, you know. <laughs> and then when I saw the bird, I'm like, that's so cute. What and is I'm it? Like, yeah, totally. <laughs> then it, it finally clicked. Yeah. I think I did that's know that a there's kiwi. a bird. Mm -hmm. Blueberry, or orange, and apple. So those are it's cute. Not strawberry. Yeah, I think it's an apple, but maybe it's a strawberry. I don't, I know. don't know. You think it's a strawberry? That when I first saw it, I was like, <laughs> "Oh, a strawberry," but it could be an apple. We don't know our fruits. We <laughs> eat a lot of fruit, <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, maybe it's, it's very a strawberry. Cute, it's very cute. It's, it's very cute. Yes, this stuff is so pretty. It is. So fancy, fancy schmancy. Final thing here, you got something. Else. You did. I this. love that. I, I can't do believe too. you finally ordered from her. I finally did. And what's that one yes, called? This is called Molly Weasley. <gasps> you know what? Mm -hmm. I love that one. Mm -hmm. I have wanted that one. I've had it in my cart so many times, and love then I it. kept taking it out. Love you know, because yeah. I bought other ones from her. No, I know, and this is my first. I always buy from her mom, and I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, I need to go and buy from Dragon Horde. I love Dragon, that. Yeah, Dragon Horde yarn. Yeah, so beautiful. Molly Weasley. I love yes. it. Love it, love it. And you guys won't see it. How am I not going to get that? I know. I know. Seriously, yeah. how can you not? Especially now that I've seen it. Yeah, when person. I looked at her shop, I was like, this one jumped yeah. out at me. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that one. I mean, a lot of them jumped out, but this one, I was just, I don't know. Yeah, I wish I'd got that one instead of one of them that I did get, but which is fine because I can mm -hmm. do whatever. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. But I love yeah, that one. I do too. I do too. Nice. It'll go into some kind of a something. I don't know. I have couple patterns in mind right now that I'm oh, good. trying Would you to be put like yarn make, together. Yeah, yeah. So, but yes, that was beautiful. So, thank you. so I'm really excited about this because mm -hmm. this is a local, an Oregon dyer there oh, okay. in um, Rogue River. Oh, neat. Like um, yeah. over on the co the southern Oregon yep. coast. Mm -hmm. And apparently I have bought from them before, but it was like a DK or something. Oh, okay. And so I haven't used it, obviously. Yeah. I, I don't even know if I still have it. Nice. Um, I'll have to read that later with my glasses yes. on. I'll or you can read it. it yeah. But, yeah. So, they're really cutely packaged. One with a mini oh, skein. Mini skeins make sweet. a great accent on a... Anything. On anything, <laughs> really. <laughs> so, These yes. are awesome. And I love it when, when dyers do so this thing cute. where they put I little know. things. It's like yeah. It it says, what's that song? Little packages tied up with string. I love that song. These are a few of my favorite things. Oh, it's like a Christmas song. Well, no, it's from Sound of Music. Oh God, but I, I love that. Movie. <laughs> Brown paper packages the tied up with string. The only good thing about that movie is that isn't oh. it supposed to go on during World War II? Yeah. Which is one of my things that I'm absolutely fascinated I with. I just love it. I don't know about yeah. it. Okay. Love the music. You're gonna freaking love this. Oh, I'm sure. You're gonna love this so much. Oh my gosh. Or maybe you don't. Beautiful. Maybe you don't beautiful. love it so much. I loved it no, so I much. No, I do love it. It's Sam beautiful. and Barry. Oh, man. Oh, and you know why I had to get this one? So it's a one of a kind. 
It's an oh, oath. Of course. Of so course. I was like, of course. I can't, I'm not going to be able to no get it later. No one else can get it. So yes. I have to. Totally. I love it. It's beautiful. It is. It's beautiful. It is very beautiful. I don't think of salmon. I think no. of pumpkins. And I, I prefer pumpkins over salmon. Some of these colors oh, but it's, just, beautiful. it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. And I can see why she named it that. It's gorgeous. So I do, I love this one. Mm. I couldn't pass it up. Yes. I feel it. It feels nice. Oh my goodness. But yes. I believe this is the one. Look how she even has her. Oh, like, cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're hand, so and she even has hand dyed by Jennifer. That's really cool. She writes her name on all the tags. Aw. That's really cute. Her tags are really cute. Her tags are cute. We chickadee woolery. And there's two, it's two gals that do okay. like probably two friends like us. That's I nice. mean, they're probably not like us. Well, they might be like us. Who I knows? Don't know. That's know. just cool. You know, Jennifer dyed your skin. Yeah. Know. Well, I wonder what this tag's going to say. See, it's so funny how certain colors show up so well on our on our thing here. It's gorgeous. And... And I knew I'd be so the uh, it's Jennifer and Christine. Christina. Oh, okay. Isn't it Christina? I don't know. It's Christina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just look for letters that I kind of I recognize know. and put them together. That's awesome. Okay, this one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Those together. <gasps> totally, kinda. Maybe. Yeah, because you have the little specks of Maybe. orange there. Maybe. Oh my, totally, totally, okay. totally. Uh, Carrie, what look do you at think? you. Even have some of the purples yeah. in there too. Okay. See, look at that. The purples. So yeah. You're, True. You've got, oh my god. But that'd gosh. be a lot of speckle. Like I need something Who else. Who cares? Don't you think? You, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's sparkly. Oh, those are awesome. I oh my gosh. Love that. Yes. Yes. What's it called? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Willow song, and it was hand dyed by Jennifer. So both of them were by hand dyed by Jennifer. Those are gorgeous. Why am I holding you? It's you a, show I like off. watching you. It's <laughs> it's fun. It's very very pretty. Yes. They now, are they ever at any any shows that we go to? I have never seen them at oh, a show. They need to. But I ask you guys them. need to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Flock and you know and fiber. what? You know what? If they don't want to do one of the, and I know Rogue River's a ways away. I know. But if they're not going to do one of those, they can come to your house. They, they should do a truck <laughs> show. Yes. At one of the shops. Yes. Well, Michelle and I have even tossed around the idea. Yes, we have. And remember, we were going to do it. Yes. And they haven't gotten that yes. place done yet. We need to do it. Okay. We had talked about having our own trunk show. Of course, we don't sell anything, so we don't do anything. Just our love. Just no, our wait. love. We'll <laughs> just show up with snacks and lovely wine and stuff like that. Because that kind of made us sound like prostitutes. Uh, yeah. It kind of did. Yeah, that's right. We haven't gotten there yet. No, we're not that desperate to buy yarn. No. Yet. Um, and I don't think anyone's <laughs> that desperate to get any either. <laughs> So anyway, we've tossed around the idea of having a trunk show either, not at Michelle's house, because we'd hope more people would come. Yeah. I mean, you have a good size house. But anyway, we'd have a venue where we open it up and have a dyer or two that we love come and have a trunk show. And we'll serve, you Stuff. know, wine and snacks. And you guys can browse. We'll have music playing in the background. You guys can, like, right? I don't know. That's sure. what I'm envisioning in my head. And, and you dancing. can shop. You can shop and mingle, mix and mingle with people and just have it be a fun night. To So yeah, so we chickadee woolery. We need to yeah, do that. Yeah, we need to talk to you. We need to talk to you because your Especially if you're not going to if you're um, not going to any of the festivals. Of the festivals. Yeah, it's like and I've not seen them in any of the shops. I haven't even heard of them. So I feel bad. We chickadee Etsy. woolery. Are they Etsy. on Etsy? Okay, they they're are on Etsy. Etsy. I need to write this down yes. because I need to check on them. Yeah. But that would be awesome. And it just gets your name out there. If people don't know who you are, it gets your stuff out there and people can see it and feel it and yeah. buy. Well, because so. the feeling thing is to me a huge yes. deal. Yes. Hu and seeing it because like yeah. I keep telling people, and I've heard, I think, from jewelry, diary, jewelry, <laughs> <laughs> jewelry from diary of a yarn snob. I was trying to put that all together. She was even commenting about Angelique Sharon. Like, she said, man, seeing it online and then seeing it in person, like, she goes, it is just gorgeous. It's, you yeah. know, the pearls and lace, and um, I think she got the garden party. But it's so true. Like, we show yarn all the time, but sometimes it just doesn't do it justice. No, when you and see it. We like, try to whoa. put words to what it looks like. But I don't feel like sometimes our words are enough. Our words you are know? not enough. So Especially because we use like three different words. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Pretty. And soft. You know what I didn't squishy. Show the bag that you laughed at. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why you think it's so funny. <laughs> because it's huge. It's shiny. Go big or go home. Okay? <laughs> and go we were around Texans home. last night at the That's at the, you know. And Darlene oh my gosh. been here the, the time dog before. just moved and I forgot the dog is over there. It's like, what is moving over there? It scared me. Like, I knew you used to have mice up here. So it's like, oh, the rodents are moving the chairs now. 
Okay, do you have? I don't even know if it'll fit on screen. <laughs> now, did you know the size when you ordered okay. it? I will tell you that I may have been a little surprised. <laughs> okay, so yes, it's huge. It's huge. But it's quilted and it's beautiful. No, it's gorgeous. It's like There's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. And and who made it? Um, they went to a ton of work to make that. Creative hands. Yes, Creat it's creative hands. It's Yes. Okay. She, it's gorgeous. It's I gorgeous. just have never seen you have such a humongous bag in my life. It's awesome. It okay. So when I, I had inquired about it and said, you know, would this be like, could you use this could as a I purse? Could I fit a pair of socks? <laughs> yeah. And she said, well, it might be kind of big. And she told me the measurements. Yeah. So I was at work. So I got out a ruler uh -huh. and I tried to picture oh. it. I really did, but yeah. I just don't do well no. with that. So. When it got here, I was kind of surprised at the size. Yes. But I have enough stuff to always so have So in the meantime, full. she's gotten rid of all of her other project bags because now she can fit every project in this and bag. And you know that that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It's, it's beautiful. You know what's great is I have it downstairs because mm -hmm. then I could look at it a lot. I thought maybe it's because it was too heavy, you couldn't carry it up here. <laughs> and then all oh, of that my fabric inside yes, is gorgeous. It is. It's really it's pretty. It's beautiful. And look, right now there's a bunch of gorgeous yarn. There is. Like, what better so could you have go in ahead there? And laugh at I my know, bag. I know. I know. It's gorgeous. Who's sitting here with a pretty bag full of yarn? You know what I'd be afraid of though is what? because it's so big. I'd be afraid it would sit like next to my chair on the floor, which to me it's so pretty that it shouldn't be on the floor, because I would use it as like a cat, like put all my stuff. Yeah. In. You know what I mean? Like I have a huge basket over here that that's what I have next to my chair that yeah. has like all my stuff in. Okay, but I don't care if it gets dirty Let's and gross throw because down. it's a How basket. How dirty and gross is the floor of your house? Oh, what are you I, saying? Well, I'm sure it's probably dusty and you know, I don't have carpet. I have all solid surface, so I'm sure it's dusty. Not that bad. I'm just saying this the bag is so pretty that it it's like so I pretty. wouldn't want to put. Don't it. try to backpedal. Hold that basket of okay, yours up. Okay, yeah, here. it's huge. It's big. Yeah. It's big. Let's see. It's, okay, oh, I know. There's that. This is what. But 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 I have to carry this to Michelle's house every time we podcast because it's full of all my stuff. Right, but so, I know. use that too I travel. for going up. I travel upstairs. <laughs> okay. there you go. I'm just saying it's so pretty. I would hate to put it on the floor. I but, took it to work know. a couple days. Good for you. Decided it was a little big for that. It is a little big. <laughs> Unless I was going to go stay there. I mean, it could be an overnight bag. And if you care, oh my, a week bag. Yeah. Well, that's what, I, no, not a week. Are you kidding? Yeah, okay. Well, that's no. true. But, but I'm saying if you walk with that downtown Portland, you're almost asking to be mugged. Because it's like you're saying, here's my huge bag. Look at bag. me and this and think, who would be crazy enough to come up to me mm, and even talk true. to me? <laughs> <laughs> I look like a mental bag lady. <laughs> Not saying that there's anything about the bag that says no, I'm crazy. Right. No, the bag no. is gorgeous. The bag is it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And this is what I got mm. from David Dogdare. That's it, awesome. Yeah, so this bag makes you ordered it even it more special. Off on Etsy? Etsy? She has an Etsy, Etsy shop? Yes, okay. she does. It's gorgeous. I mean... I, I don't well know. made. I'm very mean, well very nice. made. And the straps are nice and thick so that yep. you can. Yep, and long. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. All the fabrics that she chose are gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, I love I know. them. I and love the button. It. It's yeah. So cute. See, now you like my bag. I don't love you? it. I just, it's <laughs> like I said, I just don't know how I would use it because I wouldn't want to put it on the floor. Well, because you already have that basket. The basket's fine, though. It can get dirty. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's not, like, my bag's not. I mean, look, it's I been know, on the floor. But it's, it's so pretty, dirty. though. I, well, your house is cleaner than my house. No, so. I don't think that's it. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Okay. It's beautiful, though. We've gone on a long time. Oh, my gosh. Long but time. It's we knew we were going to have a lot today. Well, it's funny because we podcasted we two weeks ago, but I felt, like, discombobulated today, and I felt like, I don't know, I almost felt like it was going to be a short episode. I, I didn't. I, somehow I knew. Just looking at all the stuff, I was like, I, I feel like we have a lot of stuff to oh, talk Oh, and I have about. a pattern to show, oh. too, that I was gifted. From right. From Dion. Yeah, and I gotta find out if it's the same one she sent yes. me. Yes. So <laughs> Dion <laughs> from Evil Little Goat, our Evil Little Goat Lady. So, and I, okay, my printer ran out of ink, so when I printed it, I had to do it in black and white because we were out of color. So this doesn't even do it justice because the colored picture is gorgeous. Don't worry, because I'll insert a Thank link. Thank you. So it's the Aura, I think that's how you pronounce it, O H R A. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but um, Aura Shawl. So that's just the black and white drawing. So it does nothing okay. for you guys. You guys won't be able to see it. But thank you, Dion, for gifting oh, me that. It is, it's a beautiful shawl, and it has tassels on it, which I've never done before. Um, it takes, oh boy, it takes four, oh, di four different season. colors. So I'm excited, and this is one of them that I want to cast on. I do like that. Now, soon. is it a fingering one? Yes, oh, fingering nice. weight yarn. Four colors of fingering weight yarn. Cool. So I'm just excited to try it. And you can even use minis in it. So Nice. I Another way to use some yeah, minis. Yeah, maybe I could use some minis. 
So anyway, um, that was very sweet of her to give that. Yep. To me. She's and a so sweet evil very goat. Very sweet evil goat. Yes. Yeah, there's no evil in her. Yeah. yeah she's sorry. very sweet. I know. Well, uh, it's all that mohair that you maybe, had flying around I don't around normally here. have allergies, but I feel like today oh, I'm like either yeah. trying to get sick or I'm just, I no, don't know, last night at the party and I don't know, at the roller derby. You beer drinking roller oh derby Oh my queen. gosh, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. <clears throat> I think it's the allergies and the mohair. It could be. And the air conditioner. Yeah. But it's, it's not everything. like getting cold in here. No, it's so weird. It doesn't even feel, I'm not cold. And you not at all. Yeah, no, it's, it's struggling. Going. It's struggling already. And we're struggling. We're always we're struggling. struggling. And <laughs> We thing. do need to end it, yes. Stay sexy, don't get murdered. I had to throw that in there. Did you? Just okay. because. You know the skinny yarn that I showed? Yes, yes. Several people told me that that is from an audio podcast. Oh yes, called yes. My Favorite Murder. Okay, have you listened to it? Oh hell yeah! Oh, I love it. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You guys, I don't know if you'd like it though. So it's why? <laughs> why wouldn't I like it? Is well, it gruesome? No, but it's talking the. They talk about their favorite. It's a true crime. They okay. talk about their favorite murders. Okay. And I love murder. Me too. I oh, no, okay. I love like t what's that show? 24 hours or those document where they talk about the different yeah, like murders. forensic files yes and stuff. i love yeah, that those, okay you it's might they do d do some cussing okay. you know there's a lot of okay. f-bombs dropped that okay. doesn't bother me okay and uh, so no i think you would like them okay you, you so it's an listen. audio it's podcast audio. my favorite murder is it on youtube do you just type it in uh, well i had i put some app on my phone to stream these like feral audio but it's it's produced by feral audio could it be on itunes is it on itunes it is but i don't I don't really know how to do that. Because I have iTunes. I have that on my phone. Okay, you can show and me I that. I used to listen to audio podcasts. Because I never really was into audio podcasts. Okay. Okay. This one is so funny. I love them. Oh, so funny. Totally funny. Oh. They're, because they're funny. I just don't think murder and funny. Well, you know. Would, you know. I mean, no. Okay. And they don't. No. But you just. Yeah. So it's cops talking about. No, they're not cops. Oh, okay. Who's talking about their favorite murders? Actual These, murders? No, they're, act, they're um, comedians. They've done some work oh. on like the Ellen DeGeneres show and oh okay I'm, I have no I clue know what because you're doing. I know you just have to <laughs> I'm listen thinking to it's it. like cops talking about murders no. that they've had to investigate no. and what their favorite not favorite but like what their okay like, I can see where you think okay. that but that's all not right. it at all okay all right <laughs> just go listen so to it's it. a comedy I would say so okay yes all right. but then you also get some information on some on some murders and okay. stuff some Good. murders murders yeah. I've been hooked on this show on YouTube. I don't even know. It's British. But um, they talk about these people that are buying castles that are like oh, ready cool. to be torn down. And they restore them I to homes. Buy a castle. Oh my I gosh. Me one. too. I want to live in a castle. Me too. Let's if somebody would to just, Yes, let's do it. But it's fascinating just watching them. And then they have two historians that like research the history of the castle and tell awesome. the owners. But that's on YouTube? It's on YouTube. Yeah, it's a channel. Oh. I don't know what it is. Okay, so you'll have to tell us because that sounds good. I love that kind of stuff. History yeah. and like, oh. So fascinating. You know I what I like? Castle. Oh, you, you like. But um, it's a sh it's on Hulu, I think. Yeah. No, it's not. It's on. It might be. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, called Lucifer. Oh. I think I told you about it. I don't think so. It doesn't sound. Yes. Familiar. So Lucifer gets tired of taking care of things in hell, so he comes to L.A. I haven't heard of it. Oh my god, it's so funny. Mm -hmm. And it the cop mm -hmm. aspect of it because he he becomes friends with this detective. The cop aspect of the show is horrible okay they should have gotten a consultant so that something that they did pertaining to police investigations was correct That's accurate oh, it is so funny. bad yeah but the show's not about that really. okay i mean it is but it isn't yeah you know? yeah so it's a cute show interesting yeah all righty then so there's our recommendations yeah we've got <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> you guys gotta listen to my favorite murder, and okay. thank you so much to those of you who who told me it. Yeah. what it was we'll because it I absolutely love it. That's awesome. Yeah. See, I'm done with Bates because I can't I can't watch can't season watch five yeah. yet because we just watched it on Netflix. So I, my husband and I are dying to find another show that's uh, a, you know a series, right? Whatever series. I know. Because now I'm just like kind of lost. I know. We, we already watched Lost. So yeah. It's done. Mm -hmm. I loved that one. Parks too. and Rec is great. Did Parks and Rec. The office. Did the office. Yeah. So, I mean, those are good brain. How I Met ones. Your Mother. Love that. Um, there's a couple that we've watched that you guys may or may not like. Mm -hmm. But I can't think of them. I'll have to look. Okay. So, if you guys mm -hmm. have shows, I know some mm -hmm. other podcasters have done this, but we, 
tell us the shows you like. Yeah. Those are awesome to tell Bates us. Motel. I mean, I honestly was like, no way in heck am I watching this. And people kept saying, oh, why don't you get past the first episode? Yeah. So I got past the first episode. And after that, it was just like. What was like, wrong with the first episode? There was just some, you know, there's rape scene. Oh, yeah. You know, just yeah. some stuff that I don't like to see that kind sure. of stuff. Sure. You know? Yeah, a lot of times the you world's do, you bad just, enough. You, you know? just have to get past that thing. Yeah. It's kind of like Game of Thrones. <laughs> the first couple episodes mm. of that with the incest thing going on. Right. It takes a little bit to get. But then it's yeah. awesome, and they don't really. Yeah. Yeah, and like we're good at fast forwarding. My husband and I fast forward lots of things, so we fast forward a lot through Bates Motel too. We didn't really? watch all this. Yes, because we don't see, we don't watch a lot of stuff that's we just don't want to see it. So I'm we just fast trying forward to think what stuff. was in there that was, yeah, because I it's been a while since right, I've, yeah, right. But so we're good at that. So we kind of just watch you know the parts that we want to see. But um, but yeah, now that that's done, I just feel like I need something else to watch. So okay. So you guys have some homework. You got to find her patterns That's to right. knit with her worsted weight. Find her a show to watch. <laughs> what else can they do for what you? What else can they do for me? I don't know. I think that's it. Okay, I think that's it. Tell yeah. us your roller derby name. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so they can win a prize potentially. Yeah. 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 All right, we got to end this. It's yes. two hours. Sorry, yes. we can't cut anything out. What would we cut out? I don't know. I that's know. the thing because. I don't know. It's very important stuff. You know? What piece of this job could you to live do. without? <laughs> <I> really? <don't> <laughs> we would be doing you a disservice. It would be a huge disservice. Yeah. We don't want to do that to no, you. No, no. It's either it, all or nothing. It, that's you know? right. That's exactly right. <laughs> that's certainly my personality. You didn't really, we never even told our real names though. We might have people out there like that one guy that wonders what our names really are and we don't even introduce True. ourselves. I can't remember his name now, but oh, he was very, long gone, he was I'm concerned sure. about yeah. what our names really he were. Was. So I'm so, Michelle. I'm Leslie. Michelle, the back alley medicate her. And I am Hermione, slay her. Leslie, the... Leslie. The now, does that mean you want to slay Hermione? Because I don't like that. No, Hermione, slay her. I'm going to slay my competition. Oh, okay. You know what I, I mean? I was thinking, why would you want to slay Hermione? No, I like Hermione. I Hermione, do. Hermione, that's my name. Hermione, slay her. Oh, I'm gonna I slay see. her. You're you know, Hermione, I'm slay her. I'm in competition. Okay. Yeah. 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 All so. right. Thanks for clarifying that. Yes, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, have a great couple weeks, mm -hmm. and we'll see you whenever we do this again. Yes, two and weeks. And, it, and maybe we'll see you at uh, Starlight Knitting. Yes, if I you're hope local. So. Yeah, let yeah. us know if you guys are coming. It'd be fun to know who we're looking for. <laughs> I think that it's a small enough place that there won't be any mystery. You don't think so? Uh, just there might be people that we don't follow or right, don't know about right, that are going to yeah. come. Maybe. Yeah, you'll have to you let know? us know so, who yeah. you are yes. on um, Ravelry yes. or Instagram, because mm -hmm. that's yes. how we know people. It'd be so much fun. Or your roller derby name. Exactly. You can introduce mm -hmm. yourself with that. That's true. So. Okie dokie. All Bye. Right, see you later. Bye.